Good morning! Hi friends, it's finally here. The sponsored Park Beyond stream that I promised last weekend and that didn't happen for technical reasons. It turns out the technical reasons may have also been more human reasons than tech reasons. Um, along the lines of here was one person's assumptions and here was another person's assumption. And regardless, we're here and I'm very excited to show it off. Um, we'll do like sort of a normal little blurb start off and then I'll jump like right into the right into the ad read and everything. As always, I do really, really appreciate it when people stop by for sponsored content. Um, it means a lot and y'all are the great. Were we like ships in the night? We passed without meeting? Yes. And that passing resulted in my heart sinking into my stomach because uh, I had signed a contract. <laughs> and I was like, oh no. <laughs> Just, oh no. Hey, uh, real quick. Can people hear the sub alerts? Oh, yeah, they're there. They're there. My volume was just down. It's a little embarrassing. Okay, speaking of sub alerts. Oh, my God. So many of you have subbed already this morning. Holy moly. Uh, Lawler Skate, thank you so much for... What number is that? Is that a 12 or a 17? 17 months! Good morning to you. Sora, thank you for 500 hydration biddies. I appreciate that. It's all of us beans in the UK. Oh, no. Here to lurk for a bit. Don't mind me. Thank you, Dice Goblin. Uh, Josh P. Matthews, thank you so much for 37 months of Tier 2 support. Brooke, thank you for 39. See, speaking of Brooke, eh? You know, just a little, yeah. To Brewfinity and beyond. <laughs> uh, the LRAD, thank you for the 51 months of support. Keeb, thank you for 21. It's nice to be able to do this again. Appreciate you, friend. I appreciate you. All right. Yeah, I'm hyped. We're going to be doing uh, we're going to be doing some theme park management, which is actually a genre that people have wanted me to stream for a while. So this is this is timely. Hey, Mdrift, thank you for the 52. Oh, my God. Anatomist Prime, thank you for the 51. Mdrift with the something something deck of cards. Love it. Anatomist Prime with the 51. Time to ride all of the roller coasters right after we build them. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's do, let's do all of the official stuff and we'll, we'll probably touch on this a little bit later. Uh, so first of all, a little blurb about sponsored content on this, on this channel in general. Um, I like to be as transparent as possible and I like to be as picky as possible. So sometimes when a developer thinks that my channel is a good fit, uh, they think that my audience, uh, will like their game. They approach me and they'd like to say, hey, Serge, we'd like to give you money to show off the game. I turn down the vast majority of those because I don't think they they feel right. Uh, Park Beyond is a game that I probably would have streamed anyways. So this is one of these, one of these beautiful moments when I'm just like, yes, this is awesome. Um, also speaking about transparency, because I want to share as much as I can. This is not a performance-based sponsorship, which is amazing. And I really, really appreciate that. Um, so like, thank you to Bandai Namco. A performance-based sponsorship is, I only get paid when you do something, be that watch it or buy it or do an action. Uh, in this case, they just trust me and they trust the community and I'm getting made the same amount upfront. I won't share that amount because that's beyond what I can share, but I really appreciate that. That just shows a level of trust and a level of desirability in this community. So thank you for getting us to the point where we could do something like this. Um, that doesn't mean I don't want you to watch. Obviously, the better this looks, the more opportunities we get for stuff like this in the future. But I just want to say thank you very much for all of that. And that goes sort of like the high-end blurb. All right, you ready for some ad read? <laughs> yeah, actually, I kind of I kind of love this part. So Park Beyond is a management simulator game, uh, like Roller Coaster Tycoon. I mean, I haven't really seen a good modern one like this something before, so I'm very, very hyped for this. You can create the park of your dreams without being held back by gravity. So this is, I think they put a lot of fun into it. There's a lot of silly into this, and you can just kind of be very creative. Uh, the term they throw around a lot is impossify your park. Looking forward to that. There's two main ways that you can play. There's campaign mode and sandbox mode. And I think we're going to be checking out campaign mode today. So there's actually 30 plus hours of like a story driven campaign, which is wild to think of. And if that's not enough, you can do the full on sandbox mode, make your like 
do whatever you want. So they have set your own challenges and goals in sandbox mode with 14 maps available. You'll find the Exploration Park the best place to quickly learn the basics of the game, as well as 13 other maps to check out. Key features of this game is endless customization, so build unique coasters, rides, and shops. Uh, there's also management, how you like your spreadsheets? So manage prices, visitors, and more. And then the big term here is impossification. Is the process of starting from a simple idea, what would happen if you discarded all concern for cost, gravity, and technology? Yeah. A possification results in the craziest rides ever. A multiple story carousel defying all laws of physics and even a cannon shooting coaster car through the air. <laughs> uh, but not just shops, pardon me, not just the rides. Go a step further and possify shops and staff to make your park an incredibly special experience. That's kind of cool. And the big ask of this sponsored event is if you like what you see, you can pre-order the game. So exclamation sponsored in chat will bring up the details for that. So the game actually goes for sale on the 16th. And so we're, we're showing it off now. Uh, so there you have it. There you have it. Uh, I saw earlier, should I be tweeting about this? Absolutely, I should. Actually, part of my sponsorship is to have a hashtag sponsored tweet. So uh, I, I got that. I got that right here. Look at my look at my very professional tweet. Going live with Park Beyond, a new theme park management game by Bandai Namco. And then I have my Twitch link and then come and say hi. Will it be coming out on consoles? That is an interesting question. And... This was for Steam specifically. I don't know. Uh, yes, PS5 and Xbox X. Sick. There you go. Okay. I have tweeted. I have read my ad roll. I have disclosed that we are sponsored. You want to play some video games, friends? Because I do. Oh, God. Oh, God. As always, let me know how video and audio sounds and does. What's up, Reaper Titan? Pardon me, I'm very professional. <laughs> Is it time to go even further beyond? Oh, please. This is what they talk about with the impossify. Like you wanna you wanna roller coaster that's just a gorilla throwing people up in the air or shaking them like a martini shaker? <laughs> Sets their alarm to 1032. <laughs> nice shot.
Uh, sir, that's littering. Loaded into confetti, but still great shot. Good morning, Blaze. Before we start, we can Wazda. And then, uh, what's this? Oh, right click. All right. Got a mouse wheel zoom. Can rotate. All right. How far out can we go? Oh, okay. So I get to make a theme park like right here on the tennis courts. I do like that these garbage cans are laid out like it was the horseshoes. <laughs> uh, your current goals are displayed in the bottom right corner. Oh, uh, let me go to... Uh, one second. Ooh, there. Open the help center in the upper right corner and select roller coaster building help screen. Okay. Hey, Kyle. Good morning, friend. Thank you so much for 63 months. Three whole years. <laughs> Amazing. You've built your first roller coaster track. Continue to follow the paper plane by adding tracks towards its location. Oh, okay. Uh, the basics. Camera controls. Okay. So find the track icon on the building to the left and build a coaster to reach the paper airplane. Find the build track icon on the building to... Oh, it's up here. Ah, the giant beam of light. Okay. So I click here. Oh. And build tracks to the paper airplane. Oh, this is a cool tutorial. Oh, wait. How do I do... I'm going to try and follow it every time it does weird little things. Curved tracks! Park Beyond has many tools to help you build your dream roller coaster. The first one is to learn how to create a curved track. To do this, you can adjust the yaw of the track. Oh! Hello. Looney, thank you so much for 42. A bean! I didn't realize it had been that long. What's up, friend? Morning gibberish? All right. So to do this with... R plus, I don't know what the, the side to side means, but we'll learn. Uh, you also have the option to straighten your track by pressing F. This might come in handy once you start building more and more complex roller coasters. Okay. Okay. So I'm here. Oh, oh, that's cool. All right. Oh, uh, brr. Oh, it even shows a preview. Oh. Oh. Interesting. What's up, Molson? Hello, Blaze. Nicely done, friend. I suppose they called me friend. Wow. I'm Blaze. Blaze Ultra. I know, I know, it sounds weird. <laughs> Ultra wasn't my birth name. No, that's Megatronic. They sound like a supervillain. Blaze Megatronic? I think my audio is still a little bit louder compared to the background sound. Okay, I have... I have adjusted things again. All right. No way your parents' surname was Megatronic. I need to figure this out. This option doesn't affect the mission goals. Yeah, I just need to... I need to learn. I don't need to make stuff up. My life is crazy enough as it is. I was born in a light aircraft, somewhere between Cincinnati and Bowling Green. Turns out, the state of Kentucky doesn't have any naming laws, so you can write in what you like. 
And mom and dad, bless them, put every idea they had into a hat. They almost pulled the tag out and named me size 15 for massive heads. I do a lot of wild and crazy stuff, but I've never seen anything. I like her roller coaster tag, like her roller coaster tattoo. And I like it. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think our meeting can't be a coincidence. I mean, coincidences happen all the time. But it's no fun if you don't pretend they mean something. Tell you what, you've just been deputized. Phil Bailey wanted me to test these roller coaster modules Cloudstormer are developing, but he didn't tell me how he wanted me to do it. You've heard of Cloudstormer, right? Great company. Not doing so great lately. What's up, Herlios? Thank you for 33. Someone with your vision would have awesome ideas about how to use the stuff Phil has thought of. Am I right? Don't look at me like you've got a choice. You know this is happening. Let's see what you can do with some serious <laughs> All right. Uh, we're now, we've now been kidnapped and forced to make amusement parks. <laughs> Good morning, Night Valian. Yeah, again? So that's kind of cool. You can click on the module if you want to go back and change any of them. Oh, or you click to keep it going. Yeah, all right, I'm learning. My years of playing city design, city games with roads makes me uniquely qualified. <laughs> all right, we've got the curved track covered. Let's learn how to change the height. We got to go up and down. Okay. Build the track to reach the paper plane on top of the building. Oh, shift and then up and down for the height. Yeah, all right. If your roller coaster does not have enough momentum, it will not reach the top. Cars can be pulled upward with a lift chain. Remember to switch back to normal tracks. Okay. Chain lift time. I want to get the height just right. Wait, do we have to keep going up? Hold on. Zoom out a bit. Ooh. All right. As you build your coaster, the test train runs a preview. I don't know if you've been noticing this. You can see it right there. That's actually kind of cute. To complete the next objective of the test train, we need to reach the paper plane. Okay. You can control the speed of the test train via the test train, test train panel on the right. Sure. What's the difference between a sim and a tycoon? That's a good question, underdog. I have no idea. I've kind of used them interchangeably. If anyone's got an answer to that, let me know. If the test train crashed or lost all momentum, you can reset it. That's very funny. All right. So am I supposed to go to a bird right now? Am I just supposed to do... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down there. All right. Normal train. And then, yeah. Big drop. Big steep drop here, right? All right. Show me that. Show me that test train. All right, get ready for the drop. Okay. Oh, it even shows the, the speed. All right. All right. We're going up. And then... Let's see how fast we got going here. Sure. Sure. I wonder if we're supposed to... Aw, oh, man. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you delete a section? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know this is just the tutorial, but...
Right, how are we doing here? Test train? All right, how much speed do we carry now? You think we could make it? Okay, that one, that one doesn't work. Sim is more about realism. Tycoon is more about stonks. That's fair. I guess I have to do the chain lift again, don't I? Hold on. It was F to straighten it out, wasn't it? got there um does it want me to fly now wait, wait 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 wait. oh that was supposed to be crap that was supposed to be a chain lift shoot um can i go back and change that i have to do this okay yeah I was kind of hoping to use this as like a totally sick ramp, but like, that's fine. So where has our little bird friend gone? Paper airplane friend gone this time. Oh, well done. Now build the track down to the ground to reach the helipad. Oh man, we're going to do such a beautiful drop here. Yes. Oh my God. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, um, <laughs> yes, all right, how fast do we get going, oh no, I wanted to see, okay, please tell me we get to see it go, no, Modules that look like abandoned prototypes for some kind of stunt show, oh, uh. I mean, it's just a circus cannon and a motorcycle ramp. Not sure you can use these. What's up, Barbara Black Sheep? I mean, wait, we can definitely add a stunt ramp. Cannon or stunt ramp? Hold on. This is very important. I need you to put cannon or ramp in chat. What do you want to see? I'm leaning towards cannon, but I could be talked out of it. Cannon, 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 ramp. I think cannon's winning. All right, let's go with cannon. Amazing idea. Who doesn't want to be fired out of a <laughs> right? Gun, am I right? <laughs> Although there's never enough gunpowder for my taste. I really want to feel my hair getting singed. Canal, gunner, please. <laughs> Tutorial, the cannon module. All right, besides the usual track placement, you can also do various modules to create the craziest roller coasters out there. All right. Shoot your roller coaster across the map using the cannon module, which is now unlocked. Okay. All right, now I just want to see how fast we go here, right? So we start going up the ramp. Okay, good. And then how fast do we go on this drop? <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. Uh, all right. Okay. Cannon. Yeah. 
Launch speed, 113 kilometers an hour. Uh, yeah, okay. Now we're here, and then we do just the 90 degree turn. Yeah. How many... Ooh. Ah. Ah. Eh. Take it, I'm supposed to go through the donut? Wait, where am I? Where am I building to now? Did I miss? Too high curvature. Ah, that's too bad. All right, all right. All right, tough but fair. Oh wait, now we're going this way? So we gotta get over here. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. If we have if we have some freedom here, let's start let's start getting a little wild, you know. Now, can I put the ride camera? Oh my god. Hold on. Time out. All right, everybody, you ready? Okay, this is actually amazing. <laughs> All right, we're clipping through the donut. That's fine. And now... Ten out of ten landing. Thank you. All right, we need to get there. So here's my new plan. Make the chest train reach the top of this building. If you can't make it, check your track to see if you need some lift somewhere. I can just grab this section, right? All right, let's see if we can make that work. Where are we? I'm hoping we have enough speed after the cannon, right? We got the drop. And we got the cannon. Woo! All right, and then we're up. And we get some totally sick speed here. It doesn't drop as fast as I thought it did. Then, come on, come on, <laughs> boo. All right, all right, that's fine. Now, here's a question. Is there a replace tool? So can I click on like this 
and just replace it with the other one. Maybe not in the tutorial. Oh, I can change. No, no, I can't update it. Okay, sweet. Check. I guess I just have to wait for the uh, the test card to get here. Are you able to make it bank a little bit more? Probably, but not yet. Yeah, to get like more momentum out of it, to get more like a of a physics thing happening there. Probably, because you could see when we were riding it, we're not really getting as much downward as I was hoping we would. That's fine. You did it. <laughs> just one more step to reach the park on the other side of the lake. Oh, oh my God. I didn't real. Oh, that's so funny. This tutorial is a practical test to build a theme park that gets us to our next job. That's actually kind of funny. All right, huge drop again. You're doing great, but maybe it's time to see if we can fly your dreams even further than any sane person would want to go. Tell me about it, Blaze. Whoa, water feature. Since there you go. There's your canal gunner. Theme park visionary. Tell me this. How are you going to overcome the obstacles you're going to face? Tunnel? Shoot the cars over any obstacle. There's always a, round, a way around. Or ride over every obstacle like a wave on the ocean. Like a boat in a canal. That was more of a rhetorical question. Not that I ever got the hang of those. I mean, if someone asks you something, you're supposed to answer them, right? Right? But sure. Let's see if we can't make your vision a reality. Let's go. Tunneling. Wait. No. Tunnel. Off rail. Off rail allows you to build crazy coasters that roll over the ground and slide over the water. Okay. So, off-rail tracks snap to the ground level when placing them. Okay. So, what's happening here? Alright, let's get to here and then to here. And now I click... Oh! Oh. So that's cannon. Aha, there we go. Off rail. <laughs> then we want to get back onto the rail. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am apparently <laughs> negative two meters. There we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's... Okay, so we're here. Wait, swap seat. Oh! Oh, we missed the cannon section, but here's the new section. What's up, Mintu? Alright, you ready for the canal mode?
Uh, yeah. Uh, we're almost there. Strap yourself in and see if this thing shakes any fillings loose. This is amazing. You've gone from building an awesome fire exit to turning your whole apartment complex into a theme park ride. I should really call Phil so he can come see. No need. I can oh, see hi, Phil. Roller coaster from 20 kilometers. Hope you don't mind me hitching a ride. Great gravy boats. How on earth did you get a license to build this thing? Well, you see. He didn't. <laughs> it's so much easier to seek forgiveness than permission. Let's go. All right, Phil. I'm covering Phil's face. Part of me. Oh, here we go. There you go. Here's the whole thing from start to finish. We made this. <laughs> this is a fun way to do the tutorial, by the way. Cupcakes for the creatives. Okay. <laughs> All right, you ready? You ready? Get those hands up. Woo! <laughs> All right, ignore clipping through the donut. That's a feature. Now, what was the part that people were saying I was cutting my guest's head off? Time out. <laughs> Office space available for rent. Okay. Right before the water? Uh oh. All right. Oh, did somebody walk under the rails? <laughs> Oh, these people. <laughs> All right, nobody nobody says a thing. Oh, beach closed. No swimming. And now we go nice and slow here to really build anticipation. You don't want to you don't want people to get here too quickly. There you go. Welcome to sunshine and fun. My oh my though. These new coaster models you come up with. <laughs> the hospital. <laughs> I'm getting an idea, you know. I've actually been thinking about taking on a protege for a while. Originally, I was going to run a competition, but Izzy wouldn't let me. How would you like to try your hand at the big time? I can't promise that the pay will be good. Uh, the belts of Cloud Stormer are a little tight at the moment. But I can promise you'll learn a lot. <laughs> uh, some of it might even be useful. So Thanks, Phil. What do you say? A little disappointed by how boring Phil's oh, name is compared to Blaze. Come on. I'm double parked. Ooh, I'm coming too. I know you only hired me for the day, but I want to see where this goes. Continue campaign. Maximum rating reached. Congratulations. Well, well, well. We're naturals. <laughs> Welcome to your staff lodging. 
This will be your accommodations. Or are we making fun of a horror movie for a second here? Jeez. Ah, here we are. Now, I know this forest might look spooky from a distance, but once you're in the thick of it, it's merely pantaloon fillingly terrifying. Yes. As choice Hi, Izzy. House for a fun packed family theme park go, this wasn't exactly your finest hour, was it, Phil? Oh, hello. You're the new hire, hmm? I'm Isabel Dillard, Cloud Stormer CEO. <laughs> Although sometimes I feel like I actually run a crash. Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? Morning, Zed. I don't know why you're picking on this park, Izzy. I've made far worse mistakes. Don't worry. We'll visit those in due course. Anyway, <laughs> ominously creepy oh, wow. trees aside, this is a fair bit bigger than the test site and your fire exit coaster. There's so hmm? many birds. Well, the stakes certainly are. Always pinching those pennies, eh, Izzy? I can't wait to see what our friend here paints with a canvas as large as this. And don't worry. We're not quite throwing you in at the deep end. I'll be right here by your side to answer any There's a geyser. And I'll be by your other side making a note of how much you spend. She does that whenever we have a business lunch, too. Heaven forfend you have the temerity to order something sweet to finish. Yes, well, if our friend here messes up at this park, they won't have to worry about not getting their just desserts. Oh, you gonna teach us about roads. You can see the tutorial pieces already, right? All right, uh, very important questions. They used a lot of words that I don't actually know. Uh, what does crush mean and what is temerity? Quick, somebody who's good at English. <laughs> Crash is a daycare. Oh. Temerity, the gall, the audacity. Okay. Not running a crash. Okay, so she's saying we're not running a daycare here. I don't have to take care of literal babies. <laughs> and the temerity, the audacity, the gall. Wow, they're using such fancy words. Crash is a place where you put their word. Who here has ever used crash in a sentence before, though? Temerity is an SAT word. Crash is just baby jail. <laughs> huh. Yeah, Izzy got that MBA and is going to use every penny of it. That's fair. I guess crash is more of a European thing. That's fair. You've never heard of Crash, but you have heard of Temerity. Interesting. Okay. Sorry, you're only bad at English? Me too. Definitely more of an EU term? Okay, thank you. Just making sure that I, you know, wasn't missing anything I was expected with my good old Canadian public education. You've heard it down in New Zealand? Okay, okay. All right, let's keep going. Park has seen better days, at least in its current state. There are a lot of areas we need to address before we can even think about attracting visitors. I'm actually really excited just to do the management portion. I don't know. I love spreadsheets. With many of the old paths destroyed, visitors cannot visit our attractions and shops. They need to be accessible. Okay. So, the path tutorial. Oh, that's cute. A lot of options. Oh, interesting. You can do walking paths as well as queue paths. Oh. The settings gives you more control. You can do different width. Okay. To delete a path, you must be in the building mode. Hover over it and click on delete. That's fair. All right. Now, uh, I guess we're over here. Path placement. Now, is there a way to... Oh, I guess if you just click on an existing one, you, you get the... Um, eh. Nice. Okay. What? 
outside the play area. How dare? Oh, you know what I wish we had? I wish we had a City Skylines-esque... Um, you know... What am I, you know when it showed you it had a very satisfying like tick, tick 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 noise and it would show you if it was exactly 90 degrees or not? This is this is vitally important to me. <laughs> I need to know the exact angle. So based on the price, the shortest distance would be $30.60. So that gets us pr probably pretty close to like a 90 degree angle, right? I need a grid tool. All right, so if we go straight line, no, 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 let's, yeah. That looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. And what is this? Cool and fresh. Wait, <laughs> I think those are washrooms. I think, I think those are washrooms. I think that's what WC stands for, wash closet or something like that. I don't know if I want my washrooms advertised as cool and fresh. <laughs> how how about you? How about you? Now, what's the best way to connect this path? Where do you think they want this path connected? So that's the queue for the ride. Where would you, where would you connect this? From the jet out, you're thinking from there? WC stands for the Wildebeest Corral, that's fair. Cool and fresh is better than hot and stinky. I mean, you're not wrong, however. Maybe we could, maybe we could reevaluate a lot of these other life choices. What if I, instead just deleted this yes and then and then we did the flat ride clash lander near the park is still closed it needs to be reopened before people can enter oh oh okay that was the end of the tutorial is this the same build engine as jurassic world evolution uh did bandai namco make that one chrono I mean, I guess they could license the, en the engine from another uh, company, but I don't know. I have no idea. All right. Closed rides don't create any upkeep cost and no visitor can enter the ride. Okay. So rides have three different states. Closed, showcase, and open. What does showcase mean? Showcase adds as a demonstration during in which the ride is active but remains closed with all the same properties. I'm sure there's something under the hood. Maybe maybe an active ride or a showcase ride gives like a happiness bonus of people who walk by. Hmm. Open. The ride is open. Visitors ride it for fun. <laughs> fun. Cash and amazement. I love that. But open rides have a monthly cost. Oh my god. Wait a second. Wow. Were those people that charge them to ride the ride itself, as well as probably charge them admittance cost. What if we, I don't know, we have to, we have to um, think about the ethics of our park as well. Maybe we make all of our rides free and completely tank the entire roller coaster economy. Where we really get them is concessions, like at the movies, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Admission is $12. Popcorn is 30 Right? <laughs> or go with me on this journey. Admission is free. Pop is free. Washroom's $100. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bath yeah, Hank Slayer, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> wait that's a door monster sketch amazing i gotta hang out with those guys down in texas they're rad 
kind of unfortunate timing. We met them like just before the pandemic. And then we were like, oh yeah, we could talk and we could hang out. We could figure out all kinds of stuff. And then uh, nothing quite worked out. All right. Uh, the next thing we need to do. Can I move a path? Like, can I grab and pull? Ignore this. All right. All right. Every flat ride must have both an entrance and an exit connected to the path. Sure. While using... While the entrance uses the queue path, the exit uses a regular path. That makes sense. In the ride's detail panel, you can see which steps are still necessary for the ride to be opened. Okay. Um, I'm trying so hard here to just make nice, clean paths. They, they got a little too chaotic in here. There. Okay. <laughs> the first thing <laughs> the first thing I had to do uh <laughs> was <laughs> the first thing I had to do was make No, that's ugly. Uh was make all of my paths <laughs> go in a nice straight line. Now, I think they just had wood there, right? Why are you like this? You know what? That'll do. That'll do. When we get to make our own park from scratch, you better believe all beautiful 90 degree angles. It'll be such a beautiful grid. Okay. Uh, okay. So I should be able to click on this and open it now? Status open. Yeah, okay. So now we want to build and open a flat ride. Build and open a new shop. Sure. So what's our walking path here? Okay, so that's out of bounds. And uh, what are you? Oh, it's a burger stand. Oh. Status open. No, nothing I like more about a burger place than when they pre-make the burgers and have them in the window, you know? Nothing says fun and carefree like strict uniform lines. What we're doing is we're making the fun nice and efficient, okay? We want to make sure that when you come to this amusement park, you are confident that the owner is going to maximize your fun. Okay? <laughs> Don't understand the confusion here. <laughs> Uh, what's this shop? Park Beyond Candy Apple Shop. Wow. So tags, structure module, prefab, food shop, magic yummies, candy apple, families, teens, and park beyond. Ooh. Soda right near the washroom. Oh, interesting. It came with its own path if you wanted it to. Now, can I rotate the building? I can. Wait, can I? Oh, look at that. All right, let's take a look at this building. So there's a back entrance and there's a front entrance. Oh my God. I kind of love the, uh, like the giant candy apple in the front. Okay. Um, no, let's... Second thought, the second thought, let's put it right here. Ooh, 
Wait, do we want it? Right. Yeah, no, no, no. I like this plan. We'll put it right here. It even comes with the staff member. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> if this game has desire paths, oh my god, right? No, uh, I think I think this one I don't think this is a desire path kind of game, you know. I think we've only ever played one game that has desire paths. All right, the next thing I have to do is I have to build and open a flat ride. So our options are the Crazy Kraken. Speaking of which, where's my money? Oh, I've got $19,000 reduce. Okay, uh, we have the Shining Pendulum, which I think, is that what this is or no? This is the Crash Lander, okay. Uh, the Pirate Ship, the Shining Pendulum, or the Kraken. Oh my god, it's huge! Okay, so that's the Kraken. Wow. Um, we've got the pirate ship. Oh my god, this is so nostalgic. Okay, so... I've been on the pirate ship before. And then what's this one? Right, okay, these are all pretty standard ones. I've never seen this ride before. What is this ride? Pardon me. I'm trying to imagine how this ride actually works. It's just a tiny little coaster. I think it just it just does loop de loops. You know what I mean? All right. I think I'm gonna go with ship. And then what we want is we want the ship rotated this way, so that when people walk by, they can see it. You know? Now let's let's have it exit onto the washroom. <laughs> You know, in case anybody gets nauseous, uh, they can they can run straight for the toilet. And then it looks like if we want to have a queue. We should have it like that, right? So this is open, it has an entrance, it has an exit. Ticket fee, $5. This is popular with adults and families. The teens are kind of meh on it. That's fair. And what about this one? Adults love it. Families and teens are very medium on it. Oh, I just realized all of our rides are basically just things that you sit on that swing back and forth. <laughs> My favorite trick in theme park was having lottery stands with 100% win chances and the tickets are more expensive than the prize. So everyone is still happy when they win. That's so evil to Amelie and I kind of love it. All right, we have a Ferris wheel for later. Unpause the game. Oh, space bar. <gasps> Fireworks. Let the first 40 visitors enter the park. Oh, hey. Wait, 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 we're doing this backwards. So the park entrance fee is zero, but the rides are $3 and $5 respectively. You know what? Let's, let's go with the, let's just go with the regular everything. You know what I mean? All right. Work mode, moderate. This costs $50 a month to operate. Kids love it. Oh my God. You can actually just get right down to the price of everything. Plant-based. Oh, okay. Financial statistics. Oh my god, I love this. Sorry. Love this. Wait. Wait. It's fine. We could charge them to use the bathroom. Oh my god. Profit on our toilets? Oh my god. And our final shop was all the way over here. 
charging money to use the toilets is a human rights violation, but it's hilarious in a video game. Cheeseburger, red curry chicken burger. Oh my god, delicious. Angus beef. We have cordon bleu? What? Wait, what's a pizza burger? All right, here come our first guests. Are you astronauts? Hold on. Oh, I have paramedics. Nora Ford. Salary, $240. Oh my God. Duties, examine trauma effects, replenish visitor needs, cure neuphoria and treat nausea. Oh, okay. They are literally paramedics. Okay. Uh, <laughs> where do they work? Well, that's good to know. Okay. <clears throat> so we could pay them in, in um, hamburgers as well. Oh my God, they level up. Staff members gain experience by working. They reach up to five additional levels. Every level up, they increase their efficiency. Wow. What about you? Uh, John Cunningham. Roaming the park. What is your job? Mechanic. Is this our first our first family? Oh my god, they're adorable. I do like that they're appearing in teams. Oh my god, look at that whole family. So this cost us $1,100 reduced to make, and we charge $5 a person. Fix the old park. The first visitor group is in. Let's take a moment to check out who's entering our park. Select an group of adults. Who are you? You're a group of teens. Look at these teens. All right. Stay out of trouble. <laughs> needs. Food needs. Drink needs. What's this? Toilet declining. They want to go to the toilet. Okay. Energy sated. We have a family group here. Okay. Oh, and it shows the whole crew. Miss Welch and company. They're very happy. They're gonna want some food later. Okay, great. What if we read him at the beach lander? And this looks like a group of adults. No? I wanna select a family, pardon me. They're going to crash lander. This is a family? Going to crash lander. Where, where, where's a family? Well, there we go. The Bryant family. Oh God. Hey, what's up, Elle Bell? And it's rather special for us, locale. So you appreciate the challenge facing you. I want you to Ow. plan for me. this investment into profitability. Easy's right, of course. Um, but I didn't hire you to worry about the numbers. You're a no, I want to worry about the numbers. Let me worry about the numbers. All about sharing your wild and wonderful ideas. Ideas. I identify more with Izzy than Phil. <laughs> wild stallions after all oh but what a ride you get when you do Izzy it may bump your rump but you don't forget that experience in a hurry well lawsuits and health and safety issues notwithstanding cloud stormers fiscal situation is perilously close to catastrophic collapse sounds exciting <laughs> but I think what Izzy is trying to say is who do you think we should be luring through the turnstiles at the new park? Oh, I love this. So we can build our park specifically for... Oh, man. Great location for teenagers. The perfect family experience brings them visitors for miles around. There could be a gap in the market as a theme park targeting adults.
I mean, you noticed there was uh, there was breakdowns. Which group loved it the most, right? Interesting. I want to build a theme park that I want to go to. Every demographic prefers different rides and shops. Adults, for example, like to drink coffee and eat fine food. Also, by the way, adults have more money. Oh my God. Ah, oh, thinking outside the box there. I like it. A theme park for adults. What a concept. You're going to have the devil's own job delivering value for money targeting adults with this park. Since you move in investor circles, I would have thought Lucifer was a personal friend of yours. Adult themed seems more risque. No, no, no. Coffee and fine dining. Every ride comes with a cappuccino and a steak. <laughs> like... <laughs> Just not at this park. Sophia's stuck over at one of our East Coast sites. Oh, she might be able to fly us one of those newfangled ornithopters with some goodies in it, though. We call that a drone these days, Phil. What do you propose for our theme? What's our theme? Ironic hipsters? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no! Uh, so we are just playing the demo right now. So uh, the illusion of choice. We just get to do the western theme. Ironic hipsters of all ages would flip for a Candyville theme or science fiction is a good crowd pleaser. I love these. But again, the game isn't out until the 16th. So, or 26th? What day is it today? 16th, pardon me. Capering cowboys? I never thought I'd live to see the day that spurs and western hats were back in fashion. Oh yes, nothing says family fun time like hearkening back to the era of typhoid. Are you happy with this plan of attack? Yes. Or do you want to renegotiate terms? On the subject of paying for toilets, this was common in the States up until the 70s. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so our goal, have a positive monthly income, have at least two profitable flat rides, target for 170 adult visitors. Sure. Very well. We'll take the necessary steps to get this going. I hope you appreciate that the fate of the company rests on the Glad you hired me. Thanks, Izzy. Well, strap me to a rocket and light my fuse with a sparkler. This is exciting. <laughs> Your first crack at a real theme park. Oh, I remember my first time. It was in Bangkok after the war. Or uh, was it Singapore? Uh, no, no, wait. It, it was Cleveland. It was upstate New York, Phil. Your father's cabinet of curiosities, remember? <laughs> oh, I thought it was the Thrillinator. Uh, well, uh, whatever it was, I remember <laughs> which it war? Like it was yesterday. <laughs> which was... Uh... Monday, Phil. Meeting adjourned. Thank you for your time, everyone. Extend the park for adults. If you want visitor groups to be happy, you must satisfy all of their needs. When the park is happy, wait, when happy, they'll spend more time and more money. For now, let's make sure there are enough benches. Okay. Wow. Visitor needs. All visitor groups have needs that must be satisfied to make them happy. Having access to food and drink is your visitor's most important need. Oh, really? All right. At some point, visitors will also need to go to the toilet. Sure. And walking around is exhausting. Build benches. I'm so happy right now. The fact that you can target specific demographics and like, uh, yes. All right. So over here on the side, shops and facilities. We got food. We got drink. Yes. The coffee shop. Look at this. Adults love it. Families and teens. Big sad face. What is this? Oh, there's the Western style coffee shop. Now, hold on. All right. So it's got a little mocha pot on the top. Oh, I should have done a test. I should have asked how many of you could identify the top of that. It's got rock music on the side. Okay, it's got some seating there. Now what about the front here? Hold on. I need to critique their cafe. That's soda. That's not a cafe at all. What part of that's a coffee shop? Where's the coffee machine? Hold on, time out. 
All right, here's the Western style. They're lying to me. There isn't a single coffee machine. I'm so disappointed right now. I'm feeling betrayed. Well, we're going to have to, we're going to have to accept, ah, game's not perfect. <laughs> the back middle, no, no, no part of this is actually coffee. Trust me. There, there is no coffee in this image. <clears throat> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We know in our hearts that we're serving coffee. Let's check out the other designs. Sure. Yeah, okay. Okay. So it seems, honestly, with the, with the amount of assets they have in this game, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So, like, all the cafes have the same sort of, like, gear on the inside. Do you know what I mean? All right, anyways, so we got a lot of money to spend, right? We got 18 grand, so let's... First thing you do when you walk in, you grab your coffee. And this building is very cute. Wait, can I not put it right here? Oh my god, why are there live... Oh my god! There's live animals grazing in our cafe. Hey, Beowulf, thank you so much for 39 months. Hashtag sponsored, more like hashtag yay. Thank you, friend. I do appreciate everyone being here for this sponsored show, by the way. It does mean a lot, so thank you. Yeah, there we go. You walk in the park, bam, grab a coffee. Actually, I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think people will naturally want to look to the right. So there you go. Literally, first thing you do when you walk in, buy a coffee. Can I move this? There we go. <laughs> Look at... There's Buffalo! <laughs> you know what? Sure. Welcome, partner. All right, so we have the washroom there. We probably need a washroom over here as well. So let's get another toilet. Uh, that's a food shop. Shop and facility module. What's this? Oh, staff lounge. All right, everything has to be Western themed. Western basic toilet. Can I sneak it in there? Oh my god, I can. Excellent. All right, there we go. Now, next to all of our facilities, we need... Everything has to be Western themed. Get some benches. I can't put them back a little bit further, eh? In the building trail, it looks like you make custom buildings eventually, so we could save our coffee shop maybe on full release. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you know those are live animals? They could be animatronics. In our hearts, they're live animals. Just like in our hearts, those are... Uh... Ooh, this bench is way cuter. Just like in our heart, those are, those are cafes. There's coffee that's being served in there, rather. Oh, that's a cute bench. All right, um... When, you're, when your family or friends are in the washroom, get some benches that you can wait on. Uh, awkwardly stare across at each other. <laughs> extend the park for adults. While extending the park, proactively taking care of visitor needs by placing shops and benches is a great habit. Sometimes, however, you can find yourself in a situation where you want to identify specific problem areas. Sure. Ooh, the heat map gives you a quick overview. Oh my god. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. There's our happiness map. Drink map. So that's where drinks are located. Food. Toilets. Toilets. 
seeking souvenirs. Okay. Love a good heat map. Alright, so we're all the way out here. Interesting. Alright, we can't do that. Build and open an additional toilet. Did I not already do that? I guess I paused. One remaining. Open. Oh, they wanted three toilets in this economy? Sure. You know what? Why not? Alright, let's make another toilet. Basic toilet. No, no, no. I want the Western toilet. Western toilet. There you go. Now, can I sneak it in here? There we go. Sneak it there. Teens out in the families like different shops and rides. In an ideal case, every demographic should find something they like. But since you've chosen to primarily attract adults, we should prioritize buildings for this demographic first. Yeah. Uh, let me get a couple more benches over here. Now, it also said garbages. Where, where are my gar- Ah, there they are. Yeah. There we go. Just get some garbages in here pretty quick. Bins are immensely important for a park, right? There's going to be so much waste, so we just need to make sure that there's stuff everywhere, right? Any um, any theme park enthusiasts in chat? I know we had some um, some Disney fans earlier. All right, so now it wants me to make a flat ride and filter for adults. Oh yeah! Oh look at that! So we lose access to the Kraken. Used to work at Disney World. No way. Cool. Be <laughs> like, not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten minutes into the game. Feeling very sold already. It's very cute. Uh, the Ring of Fire. Look at that. Oh, interesting. It also shows profitability versus fun. I mean... Look. Let's get this Ring of Fire going. Oh my god. Wow. Profitability is fun. <laughs> uh, what if I did this way? No, I don't have a lot of room there, do don't I? Yeah, love is a burning thing. Do 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 do. Oh, and you can actually free rotate it yourself. Cool. So what I want to do, you don't, you don't, you don't put a ride right this close when you get in. You know, you got to make people work for it a little. Because we want the gift shop there, the souvenirs. Hey, Yalk, what's up, friend? Thank you so much for 63 months. It's like seven whole sub babos. That's too many babies. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to think of where to put this. So the issue is, of course, the footpaths afterwards, right? Like maybe, maybe that was bad. Maybe where I put this was bad. I don't know what that arrow means. All right, so here's the plan. Let's do the normal queue first. And I can move this still, right? Yeah. No, that's not what I wanted. I thought I, I was kind of hoping I could drag it. 
and that the um that things would snap and stay attached to it, you know what I mean? There we go. Don't hate that. And now here's my new plan. Exit right to the gift shop. Right? Now how do I move this? Do I have to close it? And if I close it, can I move it? Move. Ah, there we go. Wait, it has a whole underground section? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, what have I done? Oh, God, what have I done? Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Uh, I broke it? Oh, no. What did I do? How do I undo? Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, no. You can move it component by component. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Looks like there's an updo and redo button in the top right. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's kind of cool, but also kind of terrifying. Uh... <laughs> I was wondering why it wouldn't snap. Uh, that is not the same path. That is not the same path. There we go. Uh, build and open a food shop relished or loved by adults. Build and open a coffee shop loved by and relished by adults. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's put a restaurant right by the entrance here as well. I guess I could be running this place while we open stuff up, you know? Right? We can be making a little bit of money. Uh, I can't filter this by adults, but that's fine. The Western Patisserie. object in the way if I went this way how am I how am I getting this wrong with all this raising in the air do you think we can build a second theme park in the first probably I don't I don't quite understand how it works yet 
All right, so you want to face that way. What if I faced you this way? Object, wait. There we go. Just had to snap. There we go. Look at that. All right. So what are we what are we serving here? All right. So maybe those were animatronics. I don't know. I like to think that those buffaloes were real. This is so funny. All right. So this restaurant serves raspberry mac macarons, black currant crumble muffin, yuzu shortbread cookies. Oh my god. <clears throat> Incredible. All right, I need another cafe. All right, you just got off the ride. Have a coffee. <laughs> Pardon me. Milestone two. Now you're hungry? Same though. The first component of your park appeal is your park's cleanliness. You need to keep the paths free of litter and the toilets clean. Alright, hold on. I need more... I'm not done. I'm not done. More benches. You just ordered a coffee. Sit down for a second here. There you go. Another waste bin. There. So what is this? 93% cleanliness. Okay. Place more trash cans. All right. Visitors will drop litter if they cannot find a nearby trash can. Ride entrances in areas of high shop density are often most impacted. Well, way ahead of you there. Oh, they just put litter down. Man. <clears throat> there I thought I was doing a good job. Alright, well I pre-placed my garbage cans. Man, you people are the worst. Who litters? It's 2023. Oh, did this connect? Oh my god, it did. Trash cans can help with future trash. Well, trash cans can help with future trash. There's still a lot of litter on the paths that needs to be picked up. To pick up litter, empty trash cans, and clean toilets, hire janitors. Okay. Yeah, apologies for how raspy my voice is today. I recorded three hours of podcast yesterday, and my voice is shot. All right, what we're going to do... So we're going to bump up the microphone a little, and we're going to soft talk. Have I had my throat goo? Yeah, we have. All right, I'm going to hire a janitor. Oh, you don't pick them. You just hire them. That's fine. All right, so in a way, I think I'm kind of glad that you don't have to do like a two-point hospital sort of thing and actually like pick the specific characteristics. Let's hire two janitors. Oh, second throat goo. Thank you, Joe. All right, where are my janitors at? I guess I have to walk in through the front door, right? Oh, four janitors! Nice spot, yeah. Let's hope visitors appreciate a tidy and clean park. Let's have a look at the second component. 
with fun. Fun experiences are generated every time a visitor, wait, every time visitors are going on a ride or interact with entertainment. The fun rating represents the averages of these accumulated fun experiences in the last 10 days. With this knowledge, let's first specifically look out for fun rides. Well, I just, I just did this. I just, oh, oh my God. All right, game, let's just chill out for a second here. I know this is the tutorial. However, you know, let's remember, let's remember to actually enjoy our time here as well. An amusement park is a marathon, not a sprint. Wait, is that literally just a roll of toilet paper? What is wrong with people? <laughs> there we go. All right, our janitors are arriving. Can't help but notice that people aren't immediately buying coffee or macarons when they walk in, and I'm disappointed. Yeah, those are just rolls of toilet paper. food the first thing that I do when I go to an amusement park? If it's an amusement park built on, you know, good coffee and steak, then yes, which is our goal. It's like when I go to the movies, the first thing I do is I buy popcorn. Need to put concessions at the midpoint? Now, I do know that theme parks, there's a science behind them right? Like a very sophisticated science behind theme parks. Is that an actual fact, though? Wow, my cleanliness is down to 55%. That's terrible. I wonder if I need to hire a couple more janitors here. <clears throat> Alright, your theory of midpoint? Pretty strong, actually. I might need to hire an additional janitor. I don't know if four is going to get us there. Most people don't go to a theme park hungry or thirsty. After the seven hour walk from the parking lot to the theme park. Sure about that? More trash cans. This is, um, it's part of the tutorial. Oh, there's a little dip in the path there. As part of the tutorial, they just like sprinkled garbage everywhere. So I don't think this is a garbage can issue. I think this is a have to catch up and clean up the mess issue. Cool and fresh flashing on the toilet still cracks me up. Is it getting better? There we go. Now it's going up. It was uh, 61, then it went to 59. Now we're back up to 62. So we are getting there. Hey, Jesse. Thank you so much for 32 months. Oh no, my roller coaster tycoon nostalgia. Yeah, no kidding. Heat map time. Happiness. Everybody is so happy. Look, they show up unhappy. They leave super happy. Drinks. These people could use drinks. Perfect. Why are people showing up unhappy? Because they haven't been to my amusement park yet. All right. Drinks are good. Food is good. You know what? It actually looks like they want more food. 
Wow, we have so many people in our tiny little park here. All right, we need to make a fun ride. Which I literally made before, but you know what? Here we are. All right, adult and a run and a fun of four or greater. So do I literally have to make the same? I already have a pirate ship and I already have a ring of fire. This is terrible news. Wait, a new one. Oh my God, Medusa's temple. Okay. Yo, what? Okay. Oh, I could put it up here. Oh, I have so much space now. Hold on, hold on. The what? Yeah, you know, that classic Wild Wild West attraction. <laughs> the Medusa. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, you got it. All right, let's put it in here as well. I'm glad they added another ride. What is... Sorry, what is this line... Cowboy hat. Medusa. Oh my god, Ligma. Oh. Uh, wow. That is a quality joke. Bravo. There we go. See? Nice 90 degree paths. I can also hire entertainers. Wait, how do they put a fence up? That fence is cute. Time out. All right, you get off the ride. Here's some benches. And then before you get onto the ride, here's a garbage. And then at this side of the park, what is this? That's a soft drink. All right, let's put soft drink and then a washroom and then a restaurant here. We're just burning through our money. Oh, that's my balance. Oh, that's bad. Nah, it's fine. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't afford to spend any more money right now. Never mind. I guess I have to hire six entertainers. Whatever. The tutorial won't lead me astray. <laughs> okay, there we go. Our cleanliness is up. Oh. The goal in Park Beyond is to level up your park to reach the highest park level. To advance in the game, you must make your park more appealing and more fun. You will lose the game if your park is unprofitable for three months. Hey, what up, Heron? Reach a park appeal of one hundo. All right. I need to somehow turn this whole thing around. Now, if I make an entrance fee, I wonder how many people turn around. So if we make it so it's like, I can't make it higher than a buck fifty. If I make it five bucks, how many people turn around? Oh God. <laughs> Effects on pricing. You've completed Milestone 2. $2,000 has been added to your funds. If you don't want to go bankrupt, it's important to keep an eye on profitability, your park's attractions, and shops. 
The right price can have a big impact on their decision making. Expensive rides may alienate budget conscious visitors, while too cheap might not turn a profit. Fix the wheel's low utilization. Okay. What are the decorations like? Yeah, we should check that out in a bit, Pumpkin, for sure. All right, so it is straight up abandoned because it costs $15 e-dues. Won't pay that much. Okay, here's the tutorial. You can set the price tag on almost everything. Oh, thoughts are a big impact. Okay. Fee feels quite okay. Sure. All right. Well, let's drop let's drop this down to $3. With that price, visitors should be willing to enter the ride again. Free rides but high entrance fee. I was thinking about that, but it looks like they want me to to charge for everything. We had so much fun. The fees, okay. We were amazed. The fee is okay. Oh, we're, all right. People are being turned away. So you two left, eh? Oh, no, they're leaving because... Oh, never mind. Ha-ha! <laughs> they're leaving because they're done for the day. I thought, I thought we turned people away. The entrance fee is a bargain. Okay. Nice. Wow. Even though I bumped it up to five bucks. Oh, it even shows you. Visitors lost since changing the entrance fee. Okay, cool. Cool. I have no idea what I can charge in this game, you know? Is a bargain. All right, let's bump it up to uh, four bucks. That's a huge percentage increase. D is okay. All right. What's Disneyland these days? Oh my God. Well, five bucks is a lot of entry for us, right? It's like 80 bucks or something like that if you want to get into... Uh, if you want to get into Disneyland, actually, how much is how much how much is Disneyland? I don't know. I just spitballed eighty bucks. I don't actually know if that's true or not. Queue's too long. Moving on. I mean, that's fair. I don't know how to make the queue shorter. A two-day park per day for Disneyland is two hundred and eighty-five bucks. Dang. Wait. Sell 25 more turmeric golden lattes at the coffee shop? How do I do that? That's not my coffee shop. This is my coffee shop. Trending. These turmeric lattes are so hot right now. Turmeric lattes. Espresso's the most commonly purchased item. Okay. I mean, like, these are... Gonna be honest, these prices are about what you'd expect at a uh, cafe, so... The five-day park hopper ticket for Disneyland is $475. So you're telling me... That uh, five bucks to get into the park is A-OK, -okay, huh? It's a bargain. All right, let's bump it up to 10 bucks. Turmeric would be interesting. The problem with turmeric is that it would make your, it would look such an awful color because turmeric is like that bright yellow. And I can't imagine if you had like a turmeric latte I can't imagine you'd look at that yellow cream and think to yourself, hmm, you know? <laughs> All right, so we bumped it up to 10 bucks and we've lost zero visitors.
pretty okay. There we go. Okay. 10 bucks was okay. Some people still think it's a bargain. Wow. Wow. Offers a trending item. An item in the shop is currently trending until the fad ends. All visitor groups love this shop. Oh, cool. Service speed depends on the chosen model. Oh, no. What does fast do? I think I need my drinks to be fast and food can be. Don't want pressured. Okay. Service speed, 100%. I, I, mm. <laughs> Based on the current prices, are we making money? It only shows you profitability for the last 30 days at the top. So income from regular earnings and expenses over the past 30 days. Our park rides, our fees, our coffee shop and stuff like that. So we have to, I guess, I don't know. Is there a graph? I love graphs. So as of February 1st, our profit, our regular earnings, oh my God. Our regular earnings in the past month have gone from 1,800 up to 4,000. Our expenses are about the same. So we should be, we should be significantly profitable. I love breakdowns. So happy right now. But Serge, I watch you to avoid my accounting classes. Yeah, it's like every, every one of the software developers in chat, when all of a sudden I start talking about like PM stuff and they're like, no, <laughs> how dare you? Zero happiness. Hold on. Time out. Critical needs food. Ooh, wallet's empty. What a hilarious goal. Average money spent $26. Over the last seven days, zero visitor groups left the park because they spent all of their money. Interesting. No more preferred rides. Over the last seven days, one visitor group left the park because there were not enough interesting or affordable rides for them, or they were unavailable. That's fair. So I need more food. Critical needs toilet. Actually, speaking of which, I really have to pee. <laughs> All right. Uh, give me one second, friends. I'll be right back.
Hello, I return. Fascinating. <laughs> okay. All right. I definitely think we've reached profitability. Uh, let's check out some heat maps here now. And then once we're done sort of optimizing, what we can do is start looking at some decorations as well. So yeah, there we go. Look at that. That person desperately needs a drink. More cafes. These people are desperately hungry. Oh my God. This is terrible news. All right. More food, more cafes. How about toilets? Uh, all right. Those ones are going to make it to the toilet, but I think three toilets is not enough toilets. Is there a link that we can purchase through or an affiliate code exclamation sponsored in the chat Misa Hancock? We'll give a link. Um, right now we're pre-ordering and basically if you, if you click on that link, I don't know if they're tracking or not, but, um, yeah, using, using the link provided will probably help. And I would very much appreciate that. So thank you. Gorilla, thank you for 36 months. Enjoy your brand new emerald bean. It's a very long time and I appreciate you. Yeah, I don't necessarily get a kickback through that, but seeing as how, you know, I'm being paid to show it off, if we use their code and they look at that and they think, dang, the Surge guy does such a good job. Let's sponsor him more often. <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. Uh, so it looks like we could use another, another restaurant over here. We'll put a restaurant and a toilet in this corner. And then another cafe. Well, food, food, food. Drink, drink, drink. All right, we'll put another, put a restaurant over here. We'll put a toilet over here. That'll be our starting point. So first things first, restaurant. Shops and facilities. Shop. Now, we want ones that the adults love. Interesting, I didn't realize la adults Oh, adults are medium on candy apple. Okay. We want to find the heart eyes for food. Western pizza. What? Adults don't love pizza? Time out. What do you mean adults don't love pizza? Teens love kebab? I'm so confused. Apparently adults love patisserie. literally eating pizza right now there's nothing that could make me happier than if i was eating pizza right now i'm feeling lied to all right so if i do this what kind of cute path option can i have here all right so that works so what we're gonna do here is add some more benches Oh, this is kind of cool. I guess this is ones that I already have. All right, let's get some benches in here, right? Give you a place to sit down and chill. Get another garbage bin or two in there. All right, now I need... Oh, ah, whatever. We can use that, old, that other one. Well, let's get a washroom right in here too, you know? So there was an, oh, vending machines. Wow. Oh my God. All right, let's ignore that for now. Uh, I need a washroom. So if I do this, can I add a path coming off that like this? Let's assume yes. Ah, buckets. All right, I have... I have clipped. I have flown too close to the sun. That's too bad. All right, new plan. Um, move this. <laughs> there.
And again, while you're while your friends are in the washroom, here's a, a bench that you can chill in. Now, uh, how do we make this pretty? Or maybe I haven't unlocked that yet. This is unavailable still. Benches and trash cans. Drinks, vending machines, souvenirs. Okay, not yet. Service and staff facility. Okay, wait. Staff lounge. Visitor preference. There is no preference. Park entrance, sure. Entertainment points. Entertainment points are, are designated locations for entertainer performances. Oh, God. You know where we put that? Right in front of all of our shops. <laughs> right? I have the staff lounge at the back. I don't even know if we need one. Okay, so I think we need to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we need to uh, get a little bit further down the tutorial before we can do, like, straight decorations and stuff. All right. Uh, all right, let's get some feedback here. There's no specific experience we want to mention, but the visit made us happy. The entrance is free. We got rid of that. Wait, let's read the bad. We couldn't go on a single ride after all. Maybe not enough. We went home early since there weren't enough interesting rides. We couldn't go for a single ride. No! We didn't have the opportunity to indulge ourselves in buying impossified items. This is terrible news. Now, is that the icon for adults? So I think that's teens because of the hair, and that's a family. All right, so we're not really looking for that, that family experience. Oh, there we go. We can see our profitability right here. So we're making about 4,000 a month and it's costing us. All right, we're, we're profitable. Food and souvenir trends. Turmeric gold latte. Okay. The Motion Sickness Compensation Fund. A generous donation to the Inner Ear Foundation means that the applications are now being accepted for proposals to entertain those who suffer from motion sickness. <laughs> Or conditions like the snoozing gramps synd symptom. What? Oh my god. Alright. Uh, looks like we need to add one more ride. Five rides is not enough rides. I guess we should make the bubbly balloons ride. The structure is currently being subsidized by the motion sickness fund. Oh my god, look at that! Wow. Wow. Normally $700, currently only $490. Delightful. All right, now we want to make the entrance path, the queue, if you will. Let's get a big old queue for this. I, I expect this one to be very popular. Perfect. <laughs> Absolutely flawless. Another garbage at the entrance. All right. We've opened another ride. We've opened another restaurant and toilet. What are you? The burger shop. I want to put a, a drink right here as well. I'm sorry, what's that? Another cafe? Don't mind if I do. Because this is a uh, burger shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let 
you had another one here? No. Okay. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. There we go. Oh, right. I have to make sure my new cafe also sells the brand new turmeric golden lattes. Of course. Am I looking to attract 20 to 30 year old bisexuals who love campy entertainment and bougie food and drink? Yeah. That sounds like a demographic that also makes bank. All right, how we doing? We had so much fun. All right, I can't make people go through this faster. Oh, it's not a very profitable ride. That's fine. The fee is okay. The fee is a bargain. The fee is quite okay. Good stuff. We do not. I'm a server in a cafe in Tennessee. Well, that's because you're, maybe you're at your, like, young 20s arc. Hopefully. I don't know. When I was working at a cafe, God, I was not making money either. Actually, when I was working in tech, my money wasn't great either. <laughs> <laughs> Bubbly balloons! Look at this. I'm happy that other people in my demographic niche are economically successful. Yeah. Wait, there we go. We need the early to mid 40s bisexuals who have money. There we go. I found my demographic. Oh my God. Look at the lineup for this place. Wow. Oh, geez. What have I done? Uh, <laughs> hello? <laughs> All right. Build and target a roller coaster for adults. Milestone number three completed. You received $2,000 due. Sophia! Oh, wait. Sophia, comma, Cloudstormer's chief of engineering just dropped a package containing new attractions and shops for your ride. This also includes prefabs for roller coasters. It's time to add a roller coaster to your park. Either build a new one or pick one and place one of the roller coaster prefabs. Use hooks to define which visitors your roller coaster should target. Incredible. All right. Uh, but first, I'm realizing I've got big old lineups for my restaurants uh, because they're not focused on serving as many people as possible. So let's go to fast. Because, like, that lineup is a no bueno. Yeah, like, look at these lineups, right? Oh, wait, that's already fast. Yikes. You're fast. I wonder if there's a place where I can object group 10. There's probably a group menu somewhere where I can be like, okay, change all X to whatever, you know? There's a long line. Maybe we need more of them. Well, they have a, they have a, a cost. They have a very real cost in like you have to spend money for them. And they also have a space cost. And so maybe just simply making it more efficient. Basic toilet is closed. Basic toilet is now open. Pardon me. More food options. We only want to target adults. But we'll see. We got new stuff. So we have roller coasters now. Modular structures. Oh my god. 
scenery. Aha! Okay, we have decorations now that we could be adding. Oh my god. Like this metal hoist. Or a mine car. Oh my god. So there's decorative props. Welcome. Now you know you've officially entered the park when you walk through a rail. <laughs> there. It's clipping through the bench a little, but that's okay. Wow. Light sources, not yet. Ooh, what, are, what is this? A different archway. Oh, no, it's just specialized. So we have a heart, like a horseshoe archway. An outpost archway. That's a little too low. We have fountains. There's a trough. Oh my god. Well, that's clearly goes. How much is this? How much does this cost me? It's free? Hello. Huge. Oh, that's not huge at all. So, I kind of got a feeling that once this game has been out for a little bit, much like Spore, the creator or community made assets for this game are gonna be wild, right? Because there's gonna be the people that wanna just manage the park, like me, right? I just want make number go up. And there's the people who are gonna get into there and be like, I'm gonna make the cutest cafe ever. You make boulders and stuff? Oh my God. Big city skyline vibes? I'm getting more like spore vibes. TBH, but you know. All right, so there's the decoration stuff. Holy moly. Standard coaster, prefab, the loop. Oh yeah, okay. Oh my God. So I'm gonna be honest. Little intimidated to make an entire one by just for myself. So we've also got the Ferris wheel now. We've got the bubbly balloons, which we just made. Okay, so the Ferris wheel we already have, and it's cheap. Roller coaster. The double solo. Families love this satisfying little junior roller coaster with two lanes. Oh, cute! Speaking of city skylines, I just saw a post from City Skylines 2 that urban and city roads will have built-in water sewage pipes and electricity. Oh my god. Yeah. Time to create lethal G-Force. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge, like, build the custom things myself. Because I it, it's sort of like um chiseling bits in Minecraft, right? I get a little bit of decision paralysis. Oh my god, look at this thing. Well, hold on, hold on. Can I put it here? Oh my god, I can. Because you want it, you want it pretty, oh jeez. I think you want it pretty tight. Yes, like this. Hooks are goals that you choose for your ride. They decide the final rating and visitor preference. The hook screen allows you to manage them per ride. You can also see what stats your hooks have and how they affect the rides. Okay, it's like, what's a hook? Every hook has a certain condition that must be fulfilled. Hooks are only active if all the conditions are met. The course tester panel will give you more information. Okay, so like, hold on. So if I click on this now, 
Temporarily closed. Designed for adults. Great. Brilliant. Perfect. And uh, I do love, again, that the ride goes right over the other queue. You know what I mean? Maybe we could have gotten even more ambitious and put it like an angle so it went right through, but that's fine. Building everything yourself is why I tend to not get hooked on the theme park games these days. I love the management option, and I love that this game gives you that customization. Not necessarily for me, but if you can then connect like the single player experience into the community experience and get access to what other people are making, then oh man, am I in. All right, hooks, what's up? Have the train do at least four inversions. Okay. Lift hill. The train must go through at least 40 meters of chain lift. Okay. I click on that. Teens love it, families hate it. All right. So does it need to have that hook or can I get rid of that hook? Structure is expected to be profitable. <laughs> I mean, everything is expected to be profitable. You can customize it. Oh my God, there's even special music for it. Wild. Safety working hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just need to make an entrance and an exit. So let's do the exit now. Normal path. Oh, yeah. And then for the entrance. A park for adults while we went straight through Milestone 3 into Milestone 4. As the last step for this park, it should be ensured that the attractions and shops are all profitable. To get a quick overview. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I love the idea of making a park that's like 100% for teens and toxic to everyone else. I Honestly, the specialization is uh, kind of cute and kind of funny. Okay, I can't help but notice I only have 95% cleanliness. This is unacceptable. Two more janitors. How's my mechanic doing? 80%. They're probably doing fine. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this green odor that it's spraying? What in the world? Medusa's temple. Yeah, all right. Sure. One of the issues I've always had with campaign modes and roller coaster games is that progress is too linear. I guess you don't enjoy putting games on rails. <sighs> oh yeah. Wow, Gunner. Look at this. We made this. Ooh, those are appetite enhancing drugs. That's a good idea. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's see if we can ride the amusement park ourselves. All right, you ready? Okay. So we start by going backwards. Okay, sure.
Oh, then you do the whole thing again backwards? Oh my god. Oh, so that's how it resets. I was wondering if it was like a double-faced one. Cool. Okay, well, that was kind of neat. All right, our park is shockingly profitable now. Made you about as motion sick as in real life. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, let's take a look at our spreadsheets here. Where are my visitor notes? The entrance fee is a real bargain. Let's take a, take a look at the negatives. Um, could go on a single ride. We want her early. By the way, I just kind of intuitively clicked on that and it auto filtered, which is kind of rad. Top opinions. Most of the rides have a reasonable fee. We met an entertainer up close. Oh my God. You hate roller coasters that go backwards. Always made you sick. I have a buddy who can't even ride on the bus sitting backwards. So like, I feel you. Oh, look at our little water fountain. All right, are people still loving the turmeric lattes or should I put those away? But it's the wrong store. Patisserie is too busy, that's fair. Yeah, these lattes, they're so hot right now. The turmeric gold latte is a bargain. The vanilla decaf is a bargain. Wait, you prefer riding backwards? No kidding. Wait, open the heat map and click profit. All right, goals. Um, sorry, I need to click on the heat map. Where's the heat map? Heat map, and I need to click profit. Open the heat map and filter for, fr for profit under shops and rides. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Ride profitability. Ride profitability is an important factor in having a successful park. A ride is profitable when the monthly earnings are higher than its upkeep. It is easier to be profitable with rides that have a high profitability rating. Sure. The main reason rides are not profitable is too few visitors are entering the ride. Your, pike, your park might not have enough visitors, or your ride might be at capacity. If visitors are avoiding it for a ride... Or, oh my god, I'm so sorry. English is just failing me. If visitors are avoiding the ride for a specific reason, you can choose... You can find those reasons together. Okay, so why are you not profitable? I'm assuming it's because you just opened. Fee is okay. We're not really utilizing it, so that's probably why. It's a great overlay, yeah. We were amazed by it. Nice. We had so much fun. The fee is okay. Stonks. Well, it's designed to amaze people and not profit, but that's okay. Well, okay. Have at least two profitable flat rides. We're at five out of two. Have 170 adults visit your park. 450. Now we just have to have a positive monthly income. I think we got that. My surge having so much trouble reading out loud, it's hard to say. Thanks. Thanks, Gunner. Look at- oh my god. Okay, y'all... Y'all slow down. 
I don't have room for all of these people. Was the Ferris wheel red on the heat map? Good question. So heat map, business, profitability. Oof, uh, nice catch. Three fifty. <laughs> Can we expand? Oh yeah, but we're playing a tutorial, so I don't want to expand super fast and have to redo stuff. You know what I mean? Ride statistics: five people. Got nauseous riding the Ferris wheel. Uh oh. I like that they're like, tell me about the Ferris wheel. Well, it's not very fun, but it sure is profitable. <laughs> uh. This is why Disney's like a hundred bucks a day. Crowd control, yeah. Well, we were talking about that earlier, right? Like different business models. There's one where you charge a lot to enter and all the rides are free. My favorite model was the rides are free, the entrance is fee free, pop is free, bathrooms are like a hundred dollars to pee, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> but then chat was all like, but Surge, that's not ethical. I was like, you know, you're not wrong. All right, so some of y'all are not happy. Why are you not happy? Oh, you have no energy. Oh, let me get you some benches. All right. Can't help but notice a lot of garbage right around here. You people are filthy. How dare you? Look at this. Should probably make some decorations around here. Some things to look a little prettier. Mediterranean cliff. No. Just a random cowboy hat. <laughs> Howdy. Uh, oh god, nope. Let's just ignore whatever we saw there money bag. Oh, it's so small. There we go. Some leafy bushes. Some things to keep you company while you're... That's too tall. Is there a smaller tree? Is there a medium? A sequoia is too big. Bamboo doesn't scan. Uh... I just don't want people standing in the, you know, standing in the sun there. A hitching post. Oh my god, a water tower. See, there we go. Now we're adding some aesthetics. Oh, you can walk through it. Whatever, that's fine. Ooh, a Joshua. Oh, they're so tiny. Maple? Doesn't feel very good. A Joshua tree. Oh. 
Now, this, this landscape isn't quite desert enough. Larch, no. Sequoia, no. Pine, oh, maybe. Hey, what's up, Azure Heights? Thank you very much for 47 months of support, friend. These trees are very pretty. Aha! There you go, give him some shade. There's a scale option under the grid. Oh, I can make it smaller after? Oh my god. Nice spot. Nope. So I want 70%? Can I... Object stacking? Oh lord. Hey, what's up, Dead Pine? How's it going, friends? Don't mind me, I'm placing trees. Hello, 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 welcome on in. All right, uh, real quick, first off, hi, I'm Serge, and we're doing some sponsored content today. So, full disclosure, I'm being paid to show off this game. Uh, this is Park Beyond. It is a modern version of like Roller Coaster Tycoon with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, specifically a lot of customization like a lot a lot of customization um i would appreciate it if you hung out because you know sponsored content goes a long way to pay the bills and i appreciate all that support but you know you do you i appreciate it i really do also if you don't know my buddy dead pine is an absolute delight uh plays a lot of modern mind i mean if we talk about the three things um that i like to do it's like Minecraft, magic, and a little bit of sneaky Tarkov on the side. Uh, <laughs> Dead Pine's interests in mine are like, if it was a Venn diagram, it'd just be a circle. It's absurd. So yeah, we've played a lot of Vault Hunters with him. And um, yeah, I like Dead Pine a lot. You should go follow him. This game looks cozy. It really is. Also, thank you for using your Prime here, dude. I hope you've been well. So yeah. This is our amusement park so far, pardon me. We have made an amusement park specifically targeting adults. So we serve like cappuccinos and steaks for everybody, which is kind of neat. We're playing through the campaign, but also kind of a tutorial map. So we're learning as we go. If you got any questions, feel free to hit me up on everything. But otherwise, yeah. Oh my God. I just noticed that there's an old timey self playing piano. All right, let's get that right at the entrance. Because that's what you want, right? Right right here. <laughs> Maybe you should charge people for the right to sit down. They could pay for a stamp on the back of their hands that they show to guards when they want to rest. Just think, you could establish a new benchmark in theme park monetization. A benchmark. This guy. There's a water wheel. Oh my god. I can just add random barrels next to the garbages to confuse people. Incredible. This is a wall-mounted coffee cups. There's a lot. Like, look at this well! Good lord. We're western-themed, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Man, I could get just way too into this, you know? Like, look at this. We could even put... Oh my god. Okay, I need to put this tab away. I can't. I I, I can't. <laughs> That'll just be my life. So yeah, this game has a really nice balance of absurd, like you can customize roller coasters if you care, or um, if you love spreadsheets like I do. <laughs> like heat maps on people who are happy. Why are you not happy? You need food. You need food. Oh my god. All right, hold on. So, drinks. Oh no, I don't have enough cafes. All right. More drinks, more way more food. Uh toilet seems to be okay so far. We do need a toilet over here though. All right. So, let's get a toilet. Let's make a little shopping area here. All 
Yeah, the heat map is very handy. All right, so first things first, this bench needs to move to like here. Second thing second, I need a path, a little access path. It's gonna go up this way. And then off of this, we're going to make, well, I mean, I already have one little shopping center here, but obviously that's not enough. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make ourselves a, oh, we have new things. So we already had a patisserie, candy apple shop, pizza shop. No, this is the same options as before, I guess. There we go. Adults and teens love kebabs. All right, so we've got our, is this Western themed? Just a regular kebab shop. There we go, Western themed kebab shop. Brilliant. All right, next up, we need another Western cafe. Man, the teens love energy drinks. Everybody loves cafes. Love to see it. What is it colliding with? Is it colliding with my queue? It is. Okay, we'll put that there. Let's get another bathroom in here. Okay, now get some benches. Let's get some garbages in there. 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 Everyone should be extremely happy now, right? <laughs> Basically add like a mall. Oh, now what I can do, if I remember correctly, let me add the uh, entertainment area right here. There we go. Maybe some more trees. The trees were so much work to place down, but that's fine. What is this? This is a larch. All right. So how do I, oh, I can search? Oh my God. The ability to shrink the size of the trees is actually really handy. Like, really, really handy. So it lets me get um, some really fun... Oh! Never mind! Sorry, we completed our quest, and now somebody's showing up with a jetpack. That was very startling. What's up, Blaze? Amazing. I'm not exaggerating when I say it's in my top five theme parks. And I've been to three already. Well, almost three. They're not really my bag. But having spent some time with you, I'm beginning to see their appeal. You might make a convert of me yet. Just so long as you add some real danger to the rides. I think that can be arranged. No, it can't. The park is finally making a reasonable profit. Let's not jeopardize that. I Thank you, Izzy. I know sound like it to the untrained ear, but I believe that was a compliment. This park was I like these gorges. A in Death Valley. Anyone could have turned it around. Wait. Still. Death Valley? So, what's next? Why would you name a valley Death Valley? What a terrible place to put a theme park. Get to the rides? Not quite. I think we get to that one. Let me see. 
Yes? Ah, that's it. Just after hell freezes over. Oh. Come on, we've got work to do. You've never heard of Death Valley, California? Wait, what? Hold on, time out. Death Valley is a real place that is quite dangerous. Oh, hey, we uh we beat this map. Well, that's exciting. Death Valley is the hottest place in the United States and the hottest temperature ever recorded? Wait, it has a tourist shop? I can't imagine the hottest place in the world is in the States. There's like giant deserts. It's amazing and gorgeous and way too dang hot. Huh. It's very cool. <laughs> It has the hottest ever recorded temperature. Really? All right, I want to keep playing just for a second here, and then we're going to go to the menu and try out the next part of the campaign. Famous for the hottest temperature ever recorded anywhere in the world, 134 degrees in July 1936. What's that in, in uh, Celsius? Negative 200 feet elevation, surrounded by mountains. It creates a natural oven. Wild. 50, 57 degrees Celsius? Oh my God. That's too dang warm. Okay, can we talk about how cute this little area is here though? Yeah, we are mega profitable. Gets way hotter than that in your oven, yeah. Huh. I just want to shout out Dead Pine again, because I do really appreciate the raid. I mean, obviously, love it when my buddy stops by, but like the one-two punch, the good guy move of the raid during a sponsored stream too. My heart. Good old good guy, Dead Pine. So I'm gonna be honest, I think now that we've played a little bit, I think this, like this little um, shaded area that we built off the side that has food and drink and bathroom, I think I like that better that we were doing before was sort of like something just off the side like this. All the drink stands are backed up. I mean, all the food and drink is backed up, yeah. Look at this. Oh, I love that you walk in and it's just a crowd. <laughs> I am at this. Thank you so much for that prime in 23 months, friend. So what I want to be able to do, I don't know about y'all, but one of my favorite things when I used to go to... Um, let me back up a sec. So I grew up in Calgary, which is um, a town in Alberta, which is kind of like the Texas of Canada. And outside of Calgary, my local amusement park, and it was not big, was called Callaway Park. And my favorite part, uh, it had one roller coaster. It had one roller coaster with one double loop-de-loop. -loop. Like Callaway Park is not very big. But my favorite part was like the mini game section like the carnival game section. I don't know why. Like the rides, the rides were fun. But I loved walking through the area where, you know, you had like the, the fishing mini game. Oh my God, I should have clued into this, right? You had like the little magnet fishing rod and you tried to like fish out prizes or whatever. So I'm hoping there's a section later on where we can make that under shops and facilities. So currently we haven't unlocked whatever is under souvenir shops and stuff like that. But I'm curious. All right, let's save. Campaign. So now I can go to the next level of the campaign, I guess. Let's find out. Campaign. Aha! Welcome to Cloudstormer. 
Oh, right. Okay. So it looks like we actually beat both missions. There's only two missions available in the campaign right now. So let's let's check out a free play. Let's just sandbox this. So we have the Exploration Park, a playground where you can explore the intricacies of park building. If you like, you can solve little challenges. Okay. Or East Asia Grand Lake, a grand lake with a small waterfall, rice terraces, and a lush bamboo forest, ideal for transportation rides. Interesting. Let's do the Exploration Park, because I'm still learning. Okay. So a lot of these you don't set right now. Oh, cool. Resembles the settings when playing the campaign on the difficulty manager. Upkeep is medium. Starting funds 10k. Land extensions on. Sophia's lab. What is Sophia's lab? Lab expansions need to be unlocked by park progress. Disabled. You get access to everything right from the beginning. Interesting. Well, you can also set a goal for yourself. Huh. Let's try the, the, the default one. So yeah, a reminder, this is still just the demo. The game isn't actually officially out yet. So we don't have access to everything. But yeah, setting goals in the challenge mode is kind of neat. Info and challenges. Information and challenge stands provide you with information. Okay. You can find these stands placed all across the park. They will guide you through features of beyond. Sure, park beyond. Stands with red exclamation marks give you challenges that have to be solved. A solved stand will show a green check mark. Blue question marks contain important information. Sure. If you're unsure of how to solve a stand, you can always look up the information in more detail. Oh, this is handy. Welcome to Exploration Park. Great place to learn how to build and manage your parks. There are challenge stands placed all around the park. Select them and solve the issues. Sure. Let me guess. Connect the paths. <laughs> Without paths, your visitors can't reach anything. Wow. I did it. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, oh God. What have I done? Whoa. Oh, interesting. Oh my God. So they created different themed areas within the park. Well, that's interesting. Our customers are polite enough to not walk on the grass, but not enough, not polite enough to not litter. I mean, I'm going to be honest. That kind of scans, right? So we've got a little bubble land here. Oh my God, look how cute this is. What in the world? Yo, what is this? This is the pizza shop. I don't know how to click on it. Right, anyways, uh, I need to solve all the challenges. Before I can click over there, I need to solve all of these first. Visitors cannot enter this. Make sure it has an entrance and an exit. Sure. And what's this? Place one additional food shop in the area and a drink shop in the area. Okay. Pizza and candied apples. Amazing. And what do you want over here? Place an open flat ride in this area. Okay. All right, well, first things first, I need a queue and an exit. How do I make bridges in this game? Oh, that's to the outside area. Okay, it hasn't expanded yet. That's fair. That's fair enough. Um, so in this area, it wants... An, so I'm going to do the thing I was talking about before. So let's go to here. And then, you think this place... Alright, who loves pizza? That'll help us specialize what it's towards. Adults and... Or, pardon me. Families and teens. Got it. We're going to go for families and teens in this one. So we want a food and a drink. Yeah. Teens love it. 
learning curve for this is less steep than like OG theme park. Yeah. Fun fact, Disney initially designed Disney World to have no paths and let people create the most optimal paths between them, then pave those. Those are called desire paths, which is very cool. I've only ever played one city builder that had like natural desire paths in it. It's pretty cool. All right, anyways, uh, we got pizza here. Pizza, and then we want, we want families and teens. Wow. Family. <laughs> Everybody but adults hate coffee. I guess we just do uh, soft drinks. Everyone's very medium on soft drinks. Got it. Are those clipping into each other? Yes, but is it cute? Unless you have to get in through that staff door. Oh my god! What a funny design. I love it. Okay, let's scoot this over just a little bit here. There we go. And let's put a bathroom at the very end here, because, uh, yeah. Don't want people to pee everywhere. Luxury toilet? I'm sorry, what? What's a luxury toilet? Oh, it makes everybody so much happier? Oh, forget that. Everyone's getting just the bougiest toilets. They're expensive. Oh, my budget is impossified. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I have infinite money? Make a no bathroom run? Yikes. <laughs> you can't please everyone. Just look at chat. Every single person in chat is the happiest they've ever been. Darth, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. I, uh, I actually really like the management portion. So if this is kind of just creative, I might... I might switch modes because I do actually really enjoy um, constraints. But we'll see. And they want another ride here. So we'll just see if they just want us to get it started and then these, these numbers change. All right, so we're looking for families and teens. The Tagata. Inspired by Da Vinci. What is this? Yo, what a wild looking ride. I mean, I, I guess that's by design, right? Nearby western themed area with more challenge stands has been unlocked for you. Solve 10 of the western themed ones. Okay, um, I think I'm just going to go to the free play area. This isn't quite what I was looking for. It is interesting though, right? But having played through the campaign, I already know all of these things that it wants me to do. Alright, so let's go to the other area instead. This is fine. Hello. All right, sell 25,000 tickets. Sure. Starting funds. You know, let's let's double that. Uh, 35, 35, 35. Infinite monies just means infinite canals. That's fair. 
Seems similar to Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm so happy, Artemis Huntress. I think Roller Coaster Tycoon is the only, like, tycoon game I'd ever really played. All right, there we go. Dang, look at this place. All right, so now the world is our oyster. Okay, let's take a look at the space that we have. We have some interesting steppies over here. It's actually really pretty. Huh. And then, ooh, big old water feature. Okay, okay, good. All right, no curved. Welcome to Gridland. It's the happiest place on earth. <laughs> Nothing says happy. Quite like 90 degrees. Wait, is that? It looks pretty straight. Good, good. Team order, indeed. All right, first thing we got to do. First thing we got to do. Oh, interesting. We only have access to candy apples. Okay, this is good. We have access to candy apples. There's another impossification available now. Oh, yeah. This is the good stuff. Oh, thank you. An impos what does an impossification mean? An impossification is available. This wasn't covered in the tutorial. Where do I see that? How do I impossify something? Sophia's lab. Reach the next park level. Okay. Oh! In case a visitor runs out of money. Wow. Wow. Okay. Access to patisseries. All right. Who are we appealing to? Do we want to do family, teenagers, or adults this time around? I don't know if we I don't know if we can really figure that out now, but it'd be nice to know what we're working towards. Okay, we've got access to loans. This is great. This is something that we did in cities fairly regularly. I don't know what it means to get an impossification. Edgy teens. Adults so we can do coffee is kind of my go-to. We didn't really get to do too much of that last time, right? All right, we're going to have a basic toilet here. We'll upgrade everything to fancy toilets later. Yeah, I think, I think we might be legally required to just do adults just so we could have more cafes you might be right i like the sorry sweetie what was that chat joe asks what if the chat just wants edgy rides that teens want and that's fair that is fair all right i think the thing that we want to start with is we want to maximize our Ooh, profitability? No, fun. <laughs> Let's get the pirate ship going right away. All right, so. We put it right here. Now the goal is you make the people you make the people walk by all of the stuff to get started right um no i'm going to use the different path can i update that or no oh you can even do railings <gasps> you can do railings oh my god I didn't see that before.
Oh, the railing fences are very cute. Alright, let's go a little bit further. There we go. Love that. Love that for me. ABC, always have a pirate ship ride? Fair. ABC could also mean always be constructing. Alright, so now we come out at a 45. And then basically go straight to the washroom. <laughs> oh, it's not 90. It's fine. It's not 90 degrees, but that's okay. So the next thing we gotta do is slap down... Oh my god, movie theaters? Cute. Let's go with some wooden benches here. Move this so it's symmetrical. Please snap. There we are. We can add some garbage cans now. That was a weird noise. Pardon me. All right. There you go. So how do I, how do I impossibly something? Heat map, staff hiring, finances. Ah, staff hiring real quick. Uh, let's get two janitors, one mechanic, two paramedics, two entertainers. Seems very important, right? And let's charge people two bucks to enter. All right, let's see if this is good enough. Good enough to get people to want to enter our park, you know? Top left, you have the bar. It just has to be full. Under amazement. Oh! Candy Shop Impossification. So it increases the upkeep. Unlock the following impossified items. 9,000 Scoville Candy Apples. Boost fun. Fun boost gained. One point tem temporarily. Give it access to the Guana Banana Smoothie. Interesting. Oh, oh, thank you, Maxi. Oh my goodness, lunch. Do it on the rides? Well, I can't. See, right now it only gives me the option to do it on one of these two. Can I impossify my staff? No, we'll learn more about that. But I guess I could save the rides for later, right? Also, that bar doesn't look totally full. That's so many people! <laughs> you can also impossify staff? Alright, so hold on. Impossify your janitor. What does it do? What does it do? Oh god, did I just do it? Oh, that new bin incinerator is going to be a big hit with the janitors and the guests. And it's surprisingly safe. Just so long as nobody throws away any fireworks. Okay. <laughs> sure.
Save it for rides, it's awesome. I mean, we're just learning, you know? Literally no harm in testing stuff out, you know? We got drinks, we got food, we got toilet, we got energy. I believe the Scoville spiciness unit is based on how many parts honey you need to not feel the taste of one pepper. 9,000 might be a lot. <laughs> how do I only have 84% cleanliness? I don't see any garbage anywhere. And I impossified one of my janitors. There we go. Look at this giant wall of people <laughs> just ready to ride our singular ride. Our one singular ride. I think our goal of selling only 2,500 tickets might have been a little low. I thought it was 2,500. Oh, maybe it's, um, maybe it's stages. This entrance fee is a bargain for the rides that they have. I have literally an ride. <laughs> All right, what other rides can we do? So we've decided that we do want to target adults, right? So I'm glad we didn't make the Kraken. Let's get ourselves the Shining Pendulum. Can I put it in here? No, how do I expand the area out of curiosity? Land extension, oh wow. Oh my goodness. All right, so hold on. Um, I want to grab this piece. Wow, your parks get enormous. So I can build my next ride right here now, right? Yeah, good. Sweet, okay. Immersion runes, adults don't like Krakens. Adults don't like to ride the Kraken. They like to release the Kraken. I think is an important distinction. <laughs> right? Oh, I just said I didn't want to do the thing where you like walk by it all. I prefer the little set, whatever. This still looks cute. Still looks cute. And then we should get some of these flat trees, whatever they are, and we'll build some of those later. All right, ride number two. Learning is fun. Pardon me. I'm glad that the game remembers what kind of, um, like, fences I prefer, you know? All right, so let's do this. And then this. And then this. And then this. And then this. <laughs> Whatever, we'll go like that. We'll go like that. All right, and they get off the ride and their feet are tired, you know? Make a couple benches here. There you go. That was a, that was a big day you just had. All right, let's get some trees. So what are you? You're called... An Osmantus. Oh, you're so small. What if I made you larger?
Trying to get some shade here, you know? Love it. There you go. This is this is my gift to all the people who come to our park. Is that they uh, they get some natural shade. It must, it's got to smell really nice. You don't need to pause the game, uh, but I like to. <laughs> Anytime I can make a decision that affects my park, I like to have it paused. Welcome, snack pack. Hope you're having a great day, friend. Alright, first things first, I should probably switch all of these to fast mode. Can you actually build a canal? I don't know. It's a very good question. Seeking souvenirs. Wait. Really? People want to buy my stuff? Okay, I can't make souvenirs yet. Yet. As a redhead, you appreciate it. Nothing worse than having to wait in lines and sweltering sunlight. There's like a huge music festival coming up in Victoria with a bunch of acts that I really want to see. And I keep thinking to myself, uh, do I really just want to be out in the sun all day? <laughs> oh, man. All right, still super cheap. Let's bump this up to 10 bucks and see if that's too much. Wow, 10 bucks are still happy. Really? You're going to two festivals in one week next month? First concert in 10 years? Wild. Hey, what's up, Dice Goddess? How you doing, friend? Ten bucks is still too cheap. I wonder what a good starting number is. Here, let's do some science. Let's double it. So if I charge $20, we might lose some people here. I'm just curious as to like what they think a fair starting price is. 20 bucks! I went from zero to two to 10 and now we're at 20. And people are like, yeah, that's fair. Huh. What up, Lex Peacekeeper? Are we doing economics a little bit? Sure. Oh, here we go. It's a little high. Very high. All right, let's do 15. I don't want people to feel sad when they get in, right? I want people to be like, I'm getting my money's worth. Nice. Okay. Okay. Cheapest theme park you ever went to was 50 bucks. It was the size of two state fairs. So you're not just paying for these two rides. Keep in mind, you're also paying for the shade. <laughs> right? <laughs> So don't feel like I'm not giving people bang for their buck.
There, look at those archways. Jeez. Uh, but <laughs> what? <laughs> Help! What's happening with my garbage can? Hey, what's up, Carlos? I think this might be the impossification. Oh, visitor capacity increased to 800. I didn't realize it could get full. Oh, so remember how I impossified? One of my janitors? Apparently that's what happens. What's the difference between this and like Planet Coaster? I haven't played a modern... Yo, I haven't played a modern... Um, like roller coaster management or park management game since like OG Roller Coaster Tycoon. I have no idea. I mean, the big thing about this game is... Is probably the cartoony over the top aspect. But like... I wouldn't be able to tell you in general. All right, so one lab expansion can be unlocked. This is what progression looks like. Things that families love. No, things that adults love. Let's get the coffee shop going. Oh, so every time we level up, we can do one thing. So we can get, oh, if we want to be general, neat. Or if we want to go adults. Okay, yeah. Let's get those coffee shops going. Oh, and the plushie shop. Interesting. Souvenirs that sell stuffed animals to visitors, especially appreciated by families and young at heart adults. Oh, adorable. Carlos, yo, thank you so much for using your Prime here, friend. This, this cracks me up. <laughs> like, you know what I think it was? I absolutely think it was... I don't know who Helen Morales is. I thought that was my janitor. It is my janitor. Yeah. So they were cleaning that. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Okay. So instead of the normal janitor who has like, um, I don't know, vacuum gun. Look at this. Because we impossified them, they're carrying this like wild looking laser cannon. The bin incinerator. A Sophia endorsed impossification for janitors. That's so funny. Okay. Avuna Cat, thank you so much for using your Prime here, friend. Brand new sub. Really appreciate the support. Have I played all of the older theme park games? No. Seriously. Like, um... Roller Coaster Tycoon. I think that was about it. I think at one point, I may have also played... Like, um, one of the early Jurassic Park management games, like the Dinosaur Tycoon, whatever. And that's about it. OG Theme Park by, like, Bullfrog is a classic. Yeah. All right. I got some new stuff I can do. I kind of want to make this fountain, for starters. So let's get some decorations and some scenery. Oh, they're tiny. Oh, that just looks bad. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to do the cutest garden ever. And you're like, Surge, Surge, Surge. Let's just put some trees around it, not worry about it. Now, what are these? Oh, the Chinese pines. Oh, they look very pretty as well. You know what? Let's just put some trees around it. And uh, and that'll be good enough. All right. I want to rotate this ever so slightly. Yeah, like that. There we go. And then what are you what are you called? 
An Aleppo pine. What are you again? You're called an Osmantus. The king of kings of trees. You know what? Sure. Actually, if I move this in slightly, then what I can do is I can make a 90 degree from here to there. Make it look like it's a little enclosed park, right? Oh, I just I destroyed that tree. Probably don't want the branch in the tree, you know? What if I did this way? Did I delete a tree? Help! What happened to all my trees? No! Now what we do is we put more benches on the other side as well. Ooh, alpine rocks. Wow. Uh, you know what? Probably not, but good idea. <laughs> Did I just delete the tree again? Man! How do I keep doing this? You know what else? Where else branches live? Git repos. Great idea. All right. So what if I just did? What if I just stopped trying to rotate it and just did that? That's cute as heck. Right. All right, we need to get some cafes in here. Stat. Oh, I do love that shade there though, right? Like that's so perfect. Oh yeah, by the way, anytime our cleanliness drops under 95%, I'm hiring two janitors. <laughs> A cafe before every ride. You know what? That is an excellent philosophy. We're going to put a cafe near the entrance to every single ride. Where's the entrance? Wait, the entrance is there? Shoot. How am I going to do this? What if I did it like... Oh, my trees. All right, so that's the entrance, right? Like, I don't actually hate that, you know? The most hydrated park in the world. Thirsty, question mark? Not anymore. And look at that. You know what? If you're in line, you could reach over the counter and be like, hey, could you hook me up with something?
So I'm going to say that this cafe serves double duty for both rides, all right? And now when you go to leave, that looking like a 90 degree angle to you? Let's say yes. When you go to leave, we have Gift Shop Alley. Because I never I didn't get to make uh, gift shops in the tutorial. Souvenir! The Western. We got the Park Beyond Plushie Shop. Oh my god, it's adorable. And it's huge! Look at the size of this thing! It's so big. Oh my god, look at those sunglasses. Can we make it so they have to go buy the gift shop to leave? I don't know if you can make one-way paths in this game. That'd be very funny. Well, it's a modest start to proceedings, but at least our visitor numbers are heading in the right direction. Although they'd be hard-pressed to go in the wrong one, all things considered. Thank you, Izzy. I think that was polite. All right, so we currently have 270 visitor visitors. Visitors left the park in the last seven days because no more preferred rides. Okay. Current visitors, 270. Upwards of 800 could be visiting if we wanted to cram some more rides in there, you know? Older games made people sick if they got it. So I don't know if Park Beyond... I don't actually know the whole development series, like cycle of this series, right? I don't know if this is the same people who did Roller Coaster Tycoon. I am aware that like nausea used to be a mechanic. And so you'd have like puddles of barf everywhere. Didn't love that. Yeah, and you had to worry, like you used to have to put benches when people got off rides so they could sit down and not be sick. So I don't know if this is just a spiritual successor to that genre or if this is an actual successor, you know what I mean? So do we have to worry about it? Is it a good idea? No idea. Is it fun? That's all I care about. Oh my god, my tree got deleted. There we go. Wait, does Disneyland not have benches, Koo? What's up, Didi? Trees paying people less thick in theme park as well. Yo. Yeah, I don't know if that's a thing we have to worry about, right? It's like, let's click on a person. People's needs are food, drink. What's this? Toilet. Oh, that's a picture of a toilet. <laughs> and energy. So as long as they can sit down, they're happy. So far, they have spent 340 on food. 20 bucks to get in and five bucks on flat rides. They have $19 remaining in their wallet. Wow. All right. Most of the items have reasonable fees. There's no specific experience we want to mention, but the visit made us happy. We went home early since there weren't enough interesting rides. Okay. Hey, the paths around here are neat. Based on cleanliness. Let's go. That entertainer was a lot of fun. Uh, we were quite amazed by the pirate ship. This experience based on amazement. Okay. We had so much fun on the pirate ship. Let's go. The entrance fee is a bargain, so I don't know if they got in early or not. Alright, so it's time to add another ride. 
And again, we're trying to appeal to that adult demographic so we can really make money off of our cappuccino sales. Oh, hey, the Motion Fee Coalition Fund is um, <laughs> helping to offset the cost of the bubbly, bar <laughs> the bubbly balloons. So let's put that here. I'd love to see one of the guests say really liked all the ghosts. He'd be like, wait a second, we don't have any ghosts. <laughs> or do we? <laughs> Alright. Let's put this here. We're going to have a curved path. It had to happen eventually. Okay. And then we want a Q. I want these people to be able to high-five in the line next to each other. Did that delete my tree? Oh, I can't? That's so funny. I don't own this triangle. So that's the best I can do there. And then we can add like another fountain or something. Let's put a fountain there. Let's get some more trees. Uh, these are called Oz something. Yeah, that got deleted again. Man, please stop that. My tree was eaten by my path. Alright, so now we're there. Like, that looks cute again, right? So that's when they walk out. Now, I did say a cafe... Okay, I have one cafe for my three rides. That ratio, that, that ain't, no, that ain't, that ain't me. Is that another cafe? Hey, what's up? Hats full of rabbits. Thank you so much for 16 months. Another cafe. Park Beyond Coffee Shop. We're going to put it right here. Where's the barista? It's there. It's on that side, right? So if I do this... Perfect. Love it. Pretty happy with that. Let's go back up to fast service. Let's get another bench in here. Actually, you know what? No. All our cafes, moderate service for speed, right? The goal here, I'll just open more cafes. <laughs> if, it's, if it ain't fast enough, we'll go with the Fuji Slaw, you know? Let's move that tree over maybe just a little bit here. Okay, now I am aware of the fact I probably haven't given people enough places to pee yet. There's only one toilet. There should probably be another toilet over here somewhere. Park goal, you need to be able to see at least three cafes from anywhere. Yes. Where do you think we can sneak in a washroom here? It'd actually be really cool if I could like hollow out that rock and put a washroom in the rock. Let's see how wild this game lets me get. Can I hide a toilet inside of a cliff?
Wait. Actually, maybe? Hold on. What? Uh... <laughs> you know what? You know what? Actually love that. Like, yeah, that that just looks good. <laughs> yeah, you know, I don't think that looks janky. I think that looks cute. Let's put a tree there. Bigger. Bigger. Uh, maybe just a small one. Hey! Right, our new ride opened up. There we go. So, like, it's funny, because I told you earlier that I'm not really interested in getting into the super high level of detail of designing my own rides, and yet here I am... But then again, I think this looks really cute. Like, look at these, look at these sight lines we're making. The <laughs> crap and cavern, the poop mines. Wow. Wow, chat. Installing plumbing into a solid rock, how hard could it be? I'm imagining that that's not solid rock. This is that, like, that faux stone. You know what I mean? Like, you touch it and it's, like, spray on or whatever. I My guess is this whole thing is hollow, and that's where, like, staff accommodations are and the lockers, you know? <laughs> the dwarven throne room. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Can you take a look at a Minecraft build? Uh, ask me tomorrow, Revenant, when we're back on that game. Yeah, I'll be doing 1.20 all day tomorrow. All right, 95% happiness, 97% cleanliness, and a fun rating of 87. Let's go. So I don't know if that's, an, like, we want that number to go up as much as possible, or if that's, like, out of 100 or something. So the highest complaint I have right now not enough rides. Which is fair. Some items are a bargain. We saw an entertainer up close. People love that. Lots of benches no matter where we went. There is no specific experience we want to mention, but we had a very good time. Love it. Park entrance one implies the existence of more than one park entrance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spray foam rocks. Exactly. There's no way we don't think that that's just all, like, spray foam rocks, right? So I may have been a little bit overly generous with the amount of starting money I gave us when I was like, oh yeah, we need 35 grand. Because, uh... We've built all of this and we still have access to 33 grand. 
How's our gift shop doing, by the way? Do people love it? Impossified pl possum plushie. Plush raccoon? Oh my god. Why? Wait, why wouldn't we just have access to all of this? I don't understand. Like, is there any reason not to give them more staff? Oh! Sink to all. Yeah, I love that. Balanced feedback regarding the fee. Least purchased. So let's make this uh, 375 then. Four twenty, nice. Soft drink shop is too busy moving on. Yeah. Sugar-free cola is a bargain. I think that's okay. I think what we do here, lemon iced tea, great. Classic cola, sugar-free cola. Everyone loves that. I think for these shops, what we do is we make this, yeah, the fastest service possible. And then the cafes are a nice, slow experience. You know what I mean? You don't think a single person's been to our gift shop yet? Yikes. You know what? You're right. Why is nobody buying gift shop items? Look, no, no. That child needs a stuffed uh, monkey alien plushie. Get back here. This is terrible news. All right, let's make them all five bucks. Uh, $85 for the plush raccoons may be a bit steep. I know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean $85, sweetie. Why is nobody buying my plushies? Is it because I haven't named it? Named it? I can't name it. Is there anything that would encourage foot traffic in that area? You're probably right. No one has a reason to walk in front of it. I mean... So hold on, let's test something here. Let's test something here, right? Let's close it. We're gonna change nothing other than... Nope. Put the teddy bear back. Right? I don't know what it's... Is it... Is it colliding with the employee? It must have been. All right. So now it's here, right? So we're gonna ask ourselves, does the direction of the path matter? Time for a little bit of science, right? Make sure to grab your teddy bear on the way out. Did I reopen it? Sure didn't. Make sure to grab your teddy bear on the way out. Okay, those groups are walking into each other, fighting so they can buy a teddy bear. Buy my plushies! <laughs> How dare you? 
Oh, I love, <laughs> I love the suggestion to put a bathroom on the opposite side. That's very funny. All right, new plan, new plan. Check this out. Two more entertainers. And then we get an entertainer to perform directly in front of it. <laughs> Hire a streamer to do a sponsored thing for plushies. Oh my God. What up, Twitch chat? It's your boy, Surge. You know what's really Pog Champ? <laughs> this one of a kind. Poggers the bear. Oh my God. Would you like the bear more or less if its name was Poggers the bear? Try and impossify it. Oh God, what have I done? Did you know the first stuffed animals were actually stuffed animals? So that's gross. Thanks, Sophia. What have I done? What did I do? Is there supposed to be a building there now? What just happened? I still don't exactly understand how impossification works. Oh, didn't I didn't actually place it. Okay, hold on. So impossification. Place that there. Put this here. Oh, and that, there we go. And to hype people up on the teddy bears. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Whoa, what? Okay, that's actually really cool. Uh, Kits, it's not unsafe. It's just impossified. All right. Poggers the bear is amazing. All right. Buy my bears. We're gonna go, we're gonna, we're offering too many different items here. Ooh, impossible treat item. Okay, we're offering two things. No yetis, no trash monkeys, no aliens. Ooh, what is this? Balanced feedback regarding the fee. People are happy with that. Close that as well. 450. Buy my bears. Yo, welcome in, friend. The rest of my park can crumble. I need to make one bear sale. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, uh, let's check our heat maps here. So, happiness, awesome. Everyone is the happiest they could be. Drinks, good. Cafes for everybody. Food! 
food. Okay, we got a bit of a food issue here. We got a bit of a food issue. So let's make a new a new park section here, right? We're gonna make a new. Oh, I should have checked for toilets as well. Oh no, we good for toilets. That's good. All right, we need food and drink, and I'm suddenly feeling like this road is in fact not square. So let's fix that. Make the bears edible. Now there's outside of the box thinking. I like the way you think. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go right up here to the park border. Yeah, this is definitely starting to feel like um, one of these lines, at least one of these lines is not 90 degrees. I'm gonna line it up with this. <laughs> not that one. Okay, we're gonna put some bathrooms at the end. Because you make people walk by all the stuff they want on the way to the bathroom, right? Okay, now we get some restaurants in here. So what do adults like to eat? Keep in mind, we're catering our park to adults. Uh, adults like patisserie. Right there, and we're going to put in, of course, another coffee shop. Imagine not having another coffee shop. Ugh. Terrifying. Next, we go for some decorations here, and we want the Oz. The Oz trees. Can I sneak one in here? Or is that going to be too busy? Is it floating? No, I think this will work, right? It definitely looks like it's floating. Does that look like it's floating? <laughs> Ghost tree. All right, we'll put one there then. It's fine. And then, does this work? No, it's too busy. Does this work? No, it's outside of the park. All right, I need a different tree. An apple tree? Oh my God, it's cute. Wait. <gasps> oh no. Oh, they're so cute. All right, please hold. A little splash of color in here now. I mean, look at that, right? Okay, anyways, I haven't added a ride. <laughs> what are these? Dead tree. Dead tree. That sure just is a stump. Palm tree. <laughs> we have still yet to make a single sale in the teddy bear store. I mean, we programmed teddy bears animatronics to do backflips through flaming rings. What more can I do for you people? I 
I don't know what else they want. What more they could possibly want. Do adults not like them? They are popular with families and adults and teen hate teens hate them. So like, that's still pretty happy for adults, you know? Oh, maintenance. Oh, my maintenance is falling. Well, that's a problem. All right, what's going on here? Janitor cannot find a staff lounge to rest. Oh, my staff is unhappy with me. Ride Shining Penultimate has not been maintenanced in a while. That's a problem. All right, let's get uh, two, more uh, two more maintenance people. There we go. And I need a staff area now, eh? Well, well, well. All right, let's buy this section of the park. How do I buy that? Purchase price. Yes. Enter. I wonder why I can't buy that. So I can't rotate this map. 2,000 for that one. 3,000 for that one. I'm confused. You just made a staff lounge? Your entrance pass is a Poggers the Bear plushie. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> Maybe there's no path to it currently from the zone, but like, I could buy this one. I'm spending all of my money here just for science, right? I don't know. I don't know why I can't do that. Maybe it's because it's behind the park entrance? I could buy that one. I can buy everyone except for the one that I want. Weird. Uh, you know what? It's fine. This is going to be where my staff center is, so... No. Please! I just want to put my staff right there! Alright, well... Fine. I guess. Can you zoom in? I can't use the mouse wheel in that area. Like I tried, I tried rotating it. I tried zooming. I just can't, I can't buy that one section. What if I look way over here, right? Maybe the camera is too close. Bruh. Bruh. You know what it was? It was, uh, my camera was covering the mouse click. All right. This is, it's fine. It's fine. We got there. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, you walk out this way. And I need some staff accommodations. Oh, that's cute. All right, now the other thing we need to do is we need to hide it, right? Because you have... Um, there's like on-park and off-park in actual theme parks, right? So what we want to do here is we want to convince people not to go this way. And now how do we do that? Archway. Paint it sky blue. Yeah, we want to paint it the same color as the, uh, <laughs> there, <laughs> let's put a giant rock in the way. <laughs> All right, one second. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. I can actually place that. <laughs> uh, we'll just put some trees in the way.
There's nothing to see behind the trees. Carry on. What else are people complaining about? You've received news regarding a new fad. What's the new fad? Uh, Mufaletta sandwich at the Delicatessen. Oh, okay. Let's get that going. Wait. At the Delicatessen? I don't have a Delicatessen. Affected shop the Delicatessen. Well, can I make one of those? Patisserie at the candy shop. <gasps> We're missing out on the latest fads. This is terrible news. Wow. Have you had a Mufaletta sandwich before, Chad? They're delicious. I'm not a huge fan of olives, but uh, olive tapenade? Ooh. Mufalata sandwich, it's a type of like, it's like salami. I believe it's salami, cheese, and olive tapenade, and sometimes it's also go. grilled. Visitors. Very good. We of peaked 400, nice. Exactly bursting at the seams with guests, but I'm sure we'll get there. All right, hold on. Time out. Mufaletta. There you go. So you can see layers of meat and then cheese. And you can see the olive tapenade in there as well. Each Mufaletta sandwich is made with a 10-inch round Sicilian sesame loaf that stays crusty despite the fillings. Piled with ham, salami, mortadella, Swiss, provolone, and signature briny marinated olive salad. Or like tapenade or something like that. Yeah. I should pronounce it similar to lemonade, tapenade. <laughs> oh, I always want to make the joke of pronouncing everything like it's uh, like a Greek name. Tapenades or something like that, you know? <laughs> ah. All right, so I should try making another ride. Yeah, like bicycles. <laughs> you got it. I don't understand what's wrong with my teddy bears. Attracts visitors to the shop. We'll apply the following effects to passing visitors every two minutes. They get an amazement boost and a soothe stomach boost. I don't understand. This is the most amazing teddy bear shop that has ever existed. People are okay with the prices and nobody wants to buy it. Do you think the path is broken? You know what? Maybe it, maybe the path is broken. Maybe that's fair. That's fair. Hey, what's up, Hosk? Hey, Serge, I've never heard of this game before, but because of you playing it and the way you've displayed its amazing qualities, I will now be buying it. <laughs> Thanks, Serge. <laughs> Hosk, your delight. All right, let's try, like, just straight up moving this to somewhere else, right? Let's try here now, and hopefully the impossification still applies. I have no idea. Are you two best friends? I just want to sell a bear. I have to reopen it. All right. Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe it was the path clipped or something. 
Maybe teddy bears are cursed. Pirate ship. Shining penultimate. Oh my god, the maintenance is down to 10%. That's a problem. I did hire two more park maintenance people, didn't I? Okay, they're main they're about to go to the shining Whatchamadoodle. That's fine. Is there something unbearable about this location? How dare you? There's another impossification available now. Oh yeah, this is the good stuff. Let's try impossifying our rides. So, for whatever reason... Oh, nope. I can't click on them. Maybe I have to wait for a full one? So, somebody in chat was telling me earlier that I could try impossifying my rides, but I don't know what I need to do to make that happen. I should probably just... I'm just going to impossify my coffee shop instead. Oh my god! Yes! A giant magical coffee cup in the sky? Wow. Dreams do come true. <gasps> oh my god, it's so cute! It's full of hand grinders? Oh my goodness, okay. And let's add the new impossified menu item. No! Are you kidding me? Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. It's impossified coffee items, the Kopi Luwak. I refuse. Oh, I'm so upset. I'm so upset right now. I don't want to talk about it. This is adorable, though. What is that? So Kopi Luwak... So Kopi Luwak is a coffee. It's an unethical coffee that is made by collecting the droppings. You feed the coffee cherry to a civet, which is kind of like a weird cat raccoon, and then they poop it out. And then the and then yeah, it's basically coffee that has been treated by the digestive system of an animal. But the way that they like as a novelty, whatever, but the way that they like go about making that happen, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You've known that as the civet poop coffee? Yeah. So yeah, anyways, as a result of its popularity, there are places where animals are like force fed into it and it's all a giant mess. Ooh. <laughs> Whatever, we have the Koji fermented coffee, and that's good enough. Now, here's an interesting question. Is my other cafe close enough to get a bonus from that? No, that's okay. Families and adults have heard of the new Bubbly Bloom ride and will be arriving soon. Teens and adults have heard of the new Shining Pendulum. Okay. And what's this? We've received some info regarding a new fad. Sure. Okay. Um, let's try and get some more money off the motion sickness fund here. So I already have a bubbly balloons, right? Yeah, it's right there. Let's get a new let's get a new gift in here. There may be a way to get it ethically. But that is certainly not the case for most of it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Adults love this. Families hate this. Now, this is a park that's supposed to be catered towards adults. I'm going to say adults first, families second. And they love bubbly balloons. I'm glad they love bubbly balloons. You know what? Let's put the ring of fire in. I hear it goes down, 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 and the flames go higher. So... So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the ride here. I have a plan. I have a plan for this very specific placing I put it. 
So the goal is the exit is right here. So they walk past all this stuff when they're done. And then to get into it, they come this way. Which I think is very clever. Let's just get some trees for them while they while they wait in line, you know? Did he ever make that staff room? Right there. Hit it behind the trees. Alright, I think it needs a couple more benches, just in case, you know, you walk all the way out here to get on this ride. You don't want to get tired. Let's have a little seat. Let's put a couple of trees to keep you cozy there while you're at it. Have we sold a single teddy bear? Signs point to no. All right, I'm putting it back over here. At the very least, it looks cuter when I do that. Unbelievable. Doesn't matter how much confetti they throw out. No one wants to buy it, and I'm so upset. Maybe, maybe when the park gets busier, more people will want to check it out. I have no idea. Oh yeah, we've added a new ride. Oh, geez, I almost forgot. Every ride needs to have its own coffee shop. Now, mind you, there you do have to walk by a coffee shop to get to it and when you leave. Do you think that's good enough? Are there any hooks I need to achieve? Uh, I thought the hooks are only for roller coasters. Have I tried lowering the cost? I have. They started at $8 each. We dropped it down to like $4.50 and we get feedback that they like the price. And I also awesomeified it. So I don't know. We could try lowering it even more. Right now, for the low, low price of $7.99. No, let's go for seven bucks. Drop it all lower. I think it might just be bugged. It is a beta. It's, you know, these things will happen. Oh, check out the crowds of people going to the new, going to the new ride. This is actually very handy, by the way. Teens and adults have heard of the new Ring of Fire and will arrive soon. What if we put it at a negative price? I'll pay you. You know what? I will pay you. Oh, you can't. Okay. <laughs> I'll pay you to take these bears away, please. <laughs> Wait, why are the kids walking out here? Oh, those are the teens. Never mind. It annoys me slightly that that isn't straight, but you know what? We'll be, we'll just go with it. It's cool. Gotta say though, the impossified coffee exhibit is pretty cute. Especially all those hand grinders, extra cute. So here's a question. If you went to a theme park and your favorite ride was always busy, would you be stoked if they made a second copy of your favorite ride or would that somehow cheapen it, you know? Like, do you want diversity even if you can't get on to the one you want? Or would you be okay if there were multiple copies of the same ride? so that you could ride it. I 
So it's like, there's fewer rides, there's fewer different rides at the amusement park, but every time you go, you guarantee get to ride your favorite ride. Can I clone myself and ride both at the same time? Love that idea. <gasps> Hold on! I think those people just walked out. I think I made a sale. Yes! I sold two teddy bears. They walked out with the plush. Oh my God. Oh my God. We did it. Oh. Hey, Ink Slayer, thank you for 200 teddy bear bitties. <laughs> Actual bear, 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 bear. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. That's so funny to me. <laughs> yeah, there was no way it needed to be that challenging. But yet here we are. Anyways, I think duplicates of the kid rides is fine, but coasters, absolutely not. So, but like that means you might not be able to ride it. That's the interesting part, right? So you'd rather it be special and miss out than be able to ride the ride you want because there's multiples of it. I rode one of my favorite roller coasters back to back when I got the opportunity. So second copy for less wait time would be wonderful. Yeah. All right. The motion sickness fun has ended. That's fine. So I need, I guess, just a little bit more park appeal. If I get up to a hundred and... Oh! <laughs> Wouldn't you just go on your favorite ride first? You still ride it. You just don't ride the ones you don't like. I guess? I guess? Hmm. That's fair. Oh, interesting. So I guess eventually I have to grab all of these if I want to unlock it. So let's go for general appeal now. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, how do I get the kebab? No, gyro spin. That's very funny. All right, we want family visitors next or general appeal. Ooh, the luxury toilet. The luxury toilet. So lab expansion can be unlocked. I guess you have to grab all of these eventually. That makes sense. All right. Time to tear out all of our peasant bathrooms. Well, except for that one. That one's kind of cool. We're going to upgrade all of our toilets to luxury toilets. Because we bougie like that. And then we're going to raise ticket prices. Be kind of cool if I could actually just upgrade it directly. Can we impossify our toilets? I would love to find out. I don't know. All right. Now, real quick, what is the footprint of our new toilet out of curiosity? So this is the size of a... Wait, that's the regular toilet? That's the luxury toilet. The luxury toilet appears to be... The exact same size, except fancier. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and demolish. And then let's put in the luxury toilet. Luxury toilet. Let's do the same over here. Oh my god, there are people in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> Please hold. There. It's like nothing changed. 
Yeah, it just makes people happier. <laughs> Should we increase the price? <laughs> you can charge for toilets in this, which is very funny. Hey, there we go. And we're going to bump this up to, I'm going to say 22 bucks. Keep in mind that we only have the most luxurious. Ah, little, little high? Fine, 20 bucks. What's up, Wooga Chaka? Oh yeah, I'll be putting in ATMs. Don't you worry about that. Oh no! Seventeen fifty. The only rides we like are either closed or not reachable. We won't enter your park. What do you mean my rides aren't reachable? What do you mean my rides are closed? I think they're lying. My guests are too short. My rides are too tall. Wow. Okay. Hey, remember that genius idea I had to jack up the price? Immediately punished. Super hype. Age of Wonders 4 Dragon Dawn is dropping on the 20th. Wow. People are all over the place here entrance fee is quite okay all right we could but i guess i guess technically going from 15 dollars to 1650 is a 10 percent increase and that's not nothing you know that's fair all right i got new rides should we make our first roller coaster we could make the uh the pre-made roller coaster right here right we could make the uh the loop oh my god it's so Big. My tree. Hold on. Will it face the cardinal directions if I do this? No. I mean, that's pretty close. Definitely is not that close. Oh, God. There. Okay. So I kind of want everything to overlap with each other as much as possible, because I think that'd be really funny. You know? What do you what do you think of that? All right, so we put that there and let's review. I think we can move it further back, right? The new Age of Wonders DLC lets you be a dragon. Okay, that's kind of cool. What do you think? What do you think of this roller coaster placement? It's nice and central. It does some interesting stuff by using the landscape, you know? Did it break when it went up a level there? I don't know if that's how it worked before. Oh my god, it, you... I would have loved if it, um... There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then we also have the benches here, so it makes like the makes it look like the benches are actually watching. Now, my biggest frustration is the fact that that's not even. 
and I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix that because it annoys me, and I know there's going to be at least one other person in chat that that annoys. Did I nail that? Nope. Still didn't. What's up, Swirly? There we go. There we go. So we moved it further back. So when you walk in, this is this is the site that greets you when you first come in. Can't quite get that at angle. Wait, maybe I can do this. Oh no, it's falls. It's follow, following them. Yeah, there we go. So this is when they walk in. This is what they see. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? All right, don't hate that. Um, doesn't appear to be snapping. No, it's too close. Gah! <sighs> All right, let's try this again. We'll give it a little bit more distance this time. We'll make it in line. There. There. Okay, that means we can put more stuff there, though, which is fine, which is fine, you know. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to make the entrance queue. Incline. Oh, what? Oh! Get it some trees. Let's get some benches. No, 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 no. We put a cafe there. Sorry. Almost made an enormous faux pas. Oh, does it not fit here? No, it can. It can. We just have to, um, we just have to ask it to not put the... Yeah. Just don't snap to the path yourself, or... It looked like it did for a second and it worked. Hold up. Oh, it's the western one. Shoot. Um, just a regular coffee shop. Okay, so you fit if I go like that, right? Okay, good. Good. No! What is this? What? Have all of our coffee shops had that weird little thing out of the back? That's the western one again, isn't it? It's 
wondering what had that weird back. Okay. No. There. Oh! Oh my god, it has a smaller footprint and it fits perfectly. Dreams come true! Yes! <laughs> Alright, everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Okay, next thing we do is we add two benches. We add two garbages. We add some more trees. And then we go ahead and we call this open. What a roller coaster of emotions, truly. As someone who hates going on a roller coaster, places to sit like that nearby are the best. Yeah. Actually, hold on. Um, we should put some seats near the exit as well. So that you can wait for your friends and family if you don't want to ride it, you know? You seem to be snapping onto that path a little bit more than I was kind of hoping you would. Sure. Now, if only the ride was open. It is. It is. Trying to tell me I made a mistake? Is it snapping because of the incline? Oh, it absolutely is. Yeah, I didn't even realize it was up higher. Yeah, so they're trying to put the benches on that ramp. Didn't op notice you opening it. They're typically open by default, uh, which I think is kind of nice. Just a big tree. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate this one. There. So people aren't walking into, uh, into the branch. All right, there we go. Our first people. Who are you? Miss Burton and Company. They need some food when they get off. That's great, because look, look at where they're ending. They're ending right next to this patisserie. Oh, I thought I had a bigger tree there for some shade earlier. Cover you when you're at the end of the line. That's what we want to do. <clears throat> Start checking our heat maps here. How are we doing? Drinks? Uh, okay, well, somebody's waiting in line for a drink. No, they're not. They're waiting in line for a ride. So drinks, for the most part, pretty good. Looks like I could use some more drink areas. That's fine. Food? Oh, a couple of hungry people. Means I could probably put a restaurant here or here. Toilet. Everybody's doing great for toilet. Everyone's great for energy. I put benches everywhere. Nobody's nauseous. I don't know what Neuphoria means. And seeking souvenirs. So red means they're not even looking for souvenirs. Put a bathroom after the roller coaster. There's already one right there. Oh, after the entrance. You mean up here, maybe? You mean where those trees are? Possibly, yeah. Time for merch. I have one merch store. And, um... It's only had 12 customers. Not a lot of merch options. Actually, speaking of toilets, I'm gonna take a short bio break. I'll be right back, friends.
Hello, I return. <sighs> really enjoying this free play so far, by the way. All right, what do we have up here? Cleanliness of luxury toilet number two is declining. The cleanliness. I think that was just a little bit of unluckiness. I think we got there. Help skin available for throughput. Throughput indicates how many visitors a ride can serve within a month. Some rides have a high throughput, for example, the Pirate Ship, the Wave Swinger, and the Ferris Wheel. Of lots of seats and a short run time. To make sure the majority of these seats occupied... Wait. Make sure to keep the majority of these seats occupied by visitors. If a ride runs half empty all the time, it can easily make a loss. As a max, wait, as a general advice, before building a new ride, check whether the old ones are being frequented at all. It's easy to wreck your park by having too many rides. What? Hi, Jessica. All right, how do you feel about that, chat? Oh, jeez. Okay. Whoa, no! I need more rides. Oh, good lord. Oh, yeah. This is the good stuff. Wow. Now it feels like we're watching a defunct Lin video. Yeah. Uh, all right, can I? It still won't let me impossify any of my rides. What if I impossified my mechanic? Marlene Gearhead Foster. So now my mechanic, oh my god, now my mechanic has mecha arms? Just wait and get the bar all the way full? Ah, we'll get there, we'll get there, Maxi. Alright, tell you what, we'll save up for the next one. Tell you what, guaranteed, 100% next time, alright? Okay, I need to make another ride. I don't know why, but I did enjoy it. You're like, no, rides are cool. Everything's cool. You're trying to tell me that my giant stacking, juggling coffee shop monument to the gods isn't cool? How dare you? Wait, did I just fire cannonballs off into the air when we shot up? Hold on, time out. <laughs> Yeah, all right, this game's sweet. All right, let's try and get another ride in here then, shall we? Oh, we'll exit it on that side too. Oh, I'm so smart. All right, uh, let's make another ride. Do I already have a crash lander? I don't think I do. Pirate ship, bubbly balloons. Shining pendulum. How does this compare to Planet Coaster? Never played it before. I haven't played an amusement park game since um, Roller Coaster Tycoon. So I don't have it. I can't give you a good comparison. I think the answer is this game is sillier. In that, you know, rather than going for super realism. Uh, Coffee Shop number two has made a loss for the last three months. Is it because only adults love it? Is it because I'm not servicing enough customers fast enough? What's the what's the problem here? All right, my vanilla decaf is too cheap. My espresso is too cheap. All right, let's bump this up to 375. Let's bump this up to 425 because I like nice round quarterly numbers. Now we're going to apply that to all of them, right? I believe that's how that works. I hope that's how that works. Least often purchase. Well, that's because I have access to the Koji fermented coffee. So I, of course, I of course would expect people to buy the awesome, the impossified item. Yeah, I think all the, I think all the customers are just going to the better cafe, which makes sense, right?
I guess I also have four cafes. You know? Maybe our policy... <laughs> Wait, a latte macchiato doesn't even make sense. Okay. You know what? Don't even worry about it, Serge. Everything is fine. Current fads have ended. Sure. Well, my policy to have one cafe per ride is already short, and they're complaining about business, so that's fine. It's a cafe theme park with rides sprinkled in. What else would I open? Who do you think you're talking to? All right, let's get the crash line. Oh, it's small. Oh my God, what a tiny ride. Huh. We're gonna put it right there because that's just really satisfying. All right, so then they exit back through the washrooms and the food and everything. off to bed rabbits thanks for hanging out friend have a great day all right so we should probably have a bathroom out of this side now so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna bring this all the way basically to the end of this area here right and then we're gonna put a pop stand you know just for people who want a faster drink oh wait you know what you know what let's slam down let's slam down some pizza Let's slam down some soda. And then we'll put two luxury washrooms on this side. There we go. You know? Can I delete just this section now? Oh my god, I can. Oh, they're a genius. Now let's get some trees in here. What are you? That's an Osmuth. Yes, good. Are oh, you getting some really big ones in there? Kind of tree are you? Same though. All right, now this should be set to super high service. This should be set to fast service. Two washrooms, brand new ride. And then, we got that thing where you get the FOMO, right? Because you get the people on this ride looking at this ride, and vice versa. And then they're like, oh man, we have to walk back around. And then when they do that, they pass all the food again and again. Basically, an amusement park genius. If anybody out there is an owner-operator of their own theme park, and you're impressed by what you see, my consulting fee is quite reasonable. Call me. I could probably do for some more. Can I get some fountains in here?
Oh, that's so cute. What if I did that instead of things at the end? Yeah, you know what? Actually, that's just supposed to be a fountain. Yeah, and then I can do some trees around it after. There we, there we go. Oh yeah. Can I take you onto the roller coaster? With pleasure. All right, you ready? All right, everybody, get those hands ready. Backwards loop to loop, though, eh? Nice. <laughs> so this is kind of wild. Up to 700 guests right now. Oh, one zero happiness person. Hold on a second. How is that possible? Happiness. All right, that's people showing up uh, with less happiness. <gasps> Who are you? Okay, time out, time out. They left hungry. They left hungry. Well, well, well. All right, we were saturated for drinks. We're a little light on food. I found the issue. Candy apple shop. Okay. All right. Patisseries. Okay. We need more food. We need more dessert. Oh, you know what? I never opened. I didn't put in any uh, ATMs. We'd mentioned this earlier. I guess we need to ask ourselves, are people leaving without money wise? Sorry. How am I phrasing this? Wallet empty. Zero people are leaving with their wallet empty. Okay. Joe just brought me coffee, by the way. Cheers, friends. <sighs> Thank you for coffee, my love. Wait. Wait. How are people having negative experiences at my luxury toilets? This is inconceivable. <sighs> Coffee shop number two. Oh, this is profits, not unhappiness. I expect my toilets to be unprofitable. Thank you. <laughs> this does not surprise me. <laughs> Uh, the fact that my coffee shop is unprofitable was a little odd, but I they are fairly saturated. So that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is, that's profit. So there's also the money lens heat map, right? I think it was finances. No. If you go to heat map and then you click on shops and rides, and you can click on profitability. There we go. Uh, these are currently not profitable. I mean, that makes sense, though. None of my rides are truly profitable. They're technically making money. We thought the fee was okay. I want to see if anybody's saying it's so cheap. <laughs> oh, a couple people said it's a bargain. I don't really want to charge more for rides, if I'm honest. You know, that just that just feels bad to me. I'm going to try and keep the price as low as possible. 
Maybe too many people are using the washroom so they can't clean it in between uses. That's a good call, Hosk. Yeah. Because like, oh, my cleaning rate is down to 94%. Remember the rules. Every time our cleaning is less than 94%, we hire two new janitors. Two! <laughs> Now, how are they looking for happiness? Some of my people are leveling up. Like I have a level three senior manager. Each time they level up, they work more efficient. That's good. 98, wait, why do you only have 90% efficiency? It's all good. Most parks make money off their shops, not their rides. Yeah, to that end, let's get... A lot of people were unhappy about the amount of food they had access to. So let's put a couple of restaurants, a couple more restaurants right here, you know? So what do I have access to food-wise? I have kebabs and pizza. No, I don't have kebabs, pardon me. I have candied apples, pizza, and patisserie. Let's get a pizza and patisserie down right here. But that's like kitty corner. I have food right there already. No, I need to... I feel like I need something else in there. Maybe another small ride? So the only ride I haven't made yet... I haven't made a Kraken. And I haven't made a Medusa's Temple. It doesn't help me with my food issue though. So I'm trying to think of ways to pull people further apart and then put food in between, if that makes sense. What else can I put there? Maybe another gift shop? 20 customers have visited here. That's good. Oh, some of my prices are a bargain. All right, let's drop this down to 375. Drop this up to 425. Let's bump that up to 750. I want more and different restaurants before I just put more down. You know what I mean? Oh, small vending machines for like, oh, oh. If I was at a park, I'd want most of the food at the same place so I know where to go when I got hungry, but maybe that's just me. I wouldn't have to go halfway across the park because I wanted pizza and then the kids wanted the other thing. That's a good call, Hosk. You know what? You know what? For all the parents in chat, Lots of new faces coming through the turnstiles, huh? Of course, if they were as good at parkour as me, they'd leap over them instead. Thanks, Blaze. And then get thrown out by park security. Thanks, Blaze. All right, there's candy apple right there. Let's throw that down. Let's get another... Are you a patisserie? What are you? There's already a patisserie there. Okay, so we got all three side by side. So we got a pizza place. Uh, this is focused on speed. Let's get people fed. Is it already immediately busy? Because that'd be kind of cool if that's the case. You know what? It looks like I could even use more benches here. So I like how quickly, wow, that's actually amazing. Can we talk about how quickly the, like the AI figured out that there was a bench there and they used it immediately? Like that's cool. Sometimes it, you could see them doing like sort of like a recalculating thing. Oh my God. Wow. People, people wanted food like stat. They wanted pizza, too. I think it makes sense to put a second pizza building. Oh, look! 
Yo, we're finally getting enough demand that people are lining up for it. All right, let's increase the service speed here a little. Hey, let's go. All right, let's see if I can get another restaurant here. Uh, that's a ride. I right, kebab. There we go. Otherwise, if I do things families love, I just get the Ferris wheel and that's it. So let's click on this one. So I guess I don't get a Ferris wheel. Interesting. Uh, let's get some kebab down. Oh my god, look at... <laughs> look at the giant spinning shawarma at the top there. That's so funny. Let's get some more scenery in here. Oh, perfect. Light sources, light sources. Nope. Okay, there's not too much I can put down there yet without going through the whole list. I'm trying to see if there's like other cute little details or something I could slap down. And the answer is definitely yes, but it's also a lot. Just put like a random... You know what? Sure. Why not? You might need to increase the size of the path. Oh, right. I forgot you can make them thicker. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to refactor everything, but that is an interesting consideration for the future. Sorry, that's literally just a giant mecha beaver. <laughs> oh my god, it moves! Why? Why is there a giant animated beaver? Incredible. Yeah, I did forget that you can make your paths thicker, but whatever. Why is it shiny? It just crawled out of the water. So my one critique I'll say so far is... As far as I can tell, you can't upgrade... Existing paths. So, like, if I wanted to, say, make all my paths thicker, right? City Skyline had the way to sort of just build right on top of what you had, which was kind of neat. And I don't know what you would do if you just have to know in advance if you have a mistake and you want to fix it up after or, or whatever. I love that there are currently 800 guests in our theme park, though. <laughs> this just cracks me up. Those lines? I mean, the teens want their shawarma. What can I tell you? Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Let's... Let's try and crank through that. Yeah. I didn't realize it was on the slowest possible way of doing it. That's the only shawarma place in the entire theme park, though. Now, this could also be a... Um, 
a natural consequence of what we've been making right now. Like we have been focusing on jamming as much as possible into as small a pace a space as possible this entire time, right? Like we have all of this room. I love that there's a parking lot there. We have all of this room. And our entire park is this space. <laughs> you know? So it could be that, you know, you want to do like really big paths and space them out and have people walk around everywhere you go. But for me, I was like, nah. Let's put them all right here. All right, we're saving this. We're saving this impossification for the next one. Oh, I could have charged for it. How is my maintenance doing on everything here out of curiosity? Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. I think I could probably hire one other maintenance person now. I wonder if there's a way to check how busy people are. Now, what is this? This is my paramedics. You know what? Just out of just out of safety, let's double our paramedics. Let's double our entertainers. There we go. Big hiring spree. Have I tried to impossify a bathroom? I have promised that I was going to impossify a ride next, but it would be very funny to impossify a toilet. I agree with you. What if we made one giant custom roller coaster just to fill the rest of the space? It is tempting. It is tempting. I'm also curious. I don't know. It's just like the custom built roller coaster is not quite why I play a game like this. It is tempting though. It is tempting. You know what? Let's, just because you asked so nicely, let's do one, but I'm going to do you one better. We're going to do a water ride. Because um, I think, I think y'all want a canal more than you want a giant one, right? So roller coasters, standard prefab. Standard it is. All right. Create a standard coaster type of track is flexible and capable of everything. Now, I don't know what I have access to right now because we are only a level four amusement park, right? We might not be able to do everything right now. So we'll have to see. All right, next thing we need to do is actually hop out of here and... Sorry. Uh, before we do this, let's expand all of the areas. Now, where were we looking? Um, so I want to make sure that we own all of this. Right? So I think that means we have access to all of this land now. Area locked. Okay, so we still need this $700 area locked. Oh, I went the wrong way? I bought down in this direction, eh? Okay, hold on. So let's make sure I know where I'm looking. Um, land extension. Oh, you're right. It is down here. Shoot. I wanted this. And I wanted this. I wanted that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a little turned around. Pardon me. All right. So now that we own all of this, let's continue working edit. So, uh, chain lift, break, train merge. Okay. We have modifiers. We've got the cannon, two-way fork. We have a station. This adds an extra station. 
People can get on and get off. Oh, oh my God. We can use that to create like a, um, like a gondola system to connect people. You, you, you make it as a roller coaster, but you, oh, oh my God. Sorry, I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, we have off rail. Snap to water and train to make it so that it goes in the ground or water. Ooh. So even if I don't want to make custom roller coasters, just a train to get around is incredible. All right, so first things first, we're going to start with a cannon. Building outside of owned area. Oh, shoot, I need to buy one more section. Sorry, one sec. Five thousand dollar dues, huh? Okay. Think I'm okay now. Why can't I build this? Why? What are you complaining about? <laughs> You're flinging it off. That's so funny. All right. What is the issue here? Is it because you're too low? Is it because you're too high? Like, why Why is it in red? So we've gone completely off the rails, and now we're a boat. <laughs> Uno! Hi, Uno. How are you, my friend? Welcome to a little bit of, uh, ooh. Welcome to some Park Beyond. This is a hashtag sponsored stream. I'm having just an absolutely delightful time right now. Oh, that's a, that's a normal rail. I don't want that. Um, how do I delete that? Delete. Yeah, uh, this is so cute. I'm experimenting. This might be a giant mess, but we'll see what happens. And let's go to regular rail here. Okay, hold on. So let's test it now. Um, I want to ride. All right. Hey, uh, friends, go follow Uno. Oh, no. I don't have enough power to start this off, eh? Okay. Okay. So I need to update this track to be uh, chain lift. And this section as well. Oh, that's actually like a really awkward start here. Why'd I make this bend? Oh, look at... Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, sorry, go follow Uno. Twitch.tv slash Rebellious Uno, my partner in crime over at 9 o'clock. I like Uno and so should you. Oh my god! You know what? Considering I was a little bit nervous to make my own amusement, my own, like ride that was cool as heck right uh can i edit this
I don't love this angle is the only thing. I don't want to do I don't want to do that. How do I how do I make that less less like that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can't help but feel that this is incredibly dangerous. Nah. That's just part of the cannon module. I just wish the angle wasn't so quite so steep. Regardless, cool. Exit editor, I'm gonna build this. The other one is like that as well, it's just not as visible because of the water, that's fair. All right, uh, what are my hooks? Add a hook. Edit this coaster to set up the hooks. All right, edit ride, select a hook. Bumpy ride. Subject this train to sideways G-force. Okay. Oh, what's up? Under the bridge. Have party roller coaster run under the bridge. Okay, we don't have that. Unchained. Train must not be pulled by any chains. Okay, well, that's obviously wrong. Must, must rate, uh, hit a speed faster than 120. Okay. Oh, there's one called Cannoneer. Go through a cannon. Done. Okay, we can add another hook. Oh, make it go at least 200 meters off track. I wonder if we do that. So does it show you if you hit it or not? Requires impossification. Okay. If you have a fast roller coaster, slowing the train down before arrival. Nope. Sightseeing tour. The train splits the average distance of all cars counted. Okay. The big splash? The big splash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this goes in the water. Oh, but it, adults hate the big splash. Boo! Do you think it has an average speed of over 40 kilometers an hour? <sighs> whatever, let's do the, um, whatever it was. Yeah, look, mono rails. I think this is good. So let's check. Books. I think I nailed that. Yeah. How high do you think these cannons can take us? Yeah. It says off track on land, though. Uh, does it? Off rail tracks on land. Oh, it is on land. Okay, good catch. Good catch. Thank you. Hmm, if you see any, let me know. So have the train travel at least 10 meters through water using off-rail tracks. Okay, the big splash I think works, but I think we already have that, don't we? No, 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 we have cannoneer and the big splash. There we go. Have the train travel at least 10 meters through water using off-rail tracks. Oh, right, but adults don't like that. Heck, maybe that's fine. 
scenic ride. Stay under 40 kilometers an hour. There must be no inversions. Adults love the sightseeing tour. Have it be at least a kilometer long. That's so funny. Uh, Comet could work. So Comet says, the launcher is a great starting point to reach desired speed. Uh, must reach at least 120. I don't think so. The cannons were like 106 kilometers an hour, not 120. Yeah, because when we click on these... Oh, launch speed, 122. Never mind. I'm just wrong. You're correct. All right. Let's, let's call this done. Let's attach some stuff to it now, right? So I need to make the path continue. I think I need the path to curve now to BH. 2BH. <laughs> I do like the little bit of like smoothing they've added for the path here. All right, so now we're here. Nice, okay, okay, good. And we've come all the way out here, so let's add a little, like, seaside restaurant section, you know? Restaurant section slash washrooms. Very important that there's washrooms. Actually, let's move this path a little bit so that we have room to do on uh, both sides. What have I done wrong here? Why can't I delete this? Hello? Love to see how creative you are on these games. I'm just a profit, profit, profit kind of person. Hold on, I think something's weird here. Sorry, give me a second. I'm going to exit and then come back because something's feeling a little off when I'm clicking on stuff. Test it for safety? We got lots of guests that could do that for us. <laughs> we don't need to be exhaustive and everything. What's a little, what's a, it's a little bit of extra thrill for the low, low price, you know? And we do need to have the special cafe out there. The rule of everything needs to be within line of sight of a cafe. We're not going to compromise on. Yeah, what are these paramedics doing anyways? Thank you. We did a full test ride and we did not fall off, so. Also, do you notice there's a little, I don't know if this is an Easter egg or not. When we were designing the track, if you, like, shake back and forth really fast while the test is at the end of it, you can actually fling the test off, which is oh, very yeah. funny. This is the good stuff. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Like, how did this happen? There you go. We restarted and everything is perfect. So I want to leave enough room here that we can put two bathrooms on that side. So that should be plenty of space. Luxury toilets. No peasant bathrooms around here. And now we want to have a... Who loves this? Who's this Who's this for? Uh, nobody likes it currently. Good. Safety. Oh, we have to test. The ride must be successfully tested in order to ensure it's safe for visitors. Oh. All right. Well, 
Hop on board, everybody. You ready? Get those hands up in the air. And again. Woo! <laughs> when it turns inflatable, it's very funny. Oh my god. And then we break. Alright. Now, it turned red at the end. Red is probably good. Red is probably good, right? Now, how do we do with the test? Nope. Uh, where did it go? I made an entrance and I made an exit. What? Time out. Time out. What did I break? It has an entrance. It had an entrance and it had an exit. I don't know, I don't understand how I broke this. A little frustrating, okay. Did it fail the test? I think what happened is I went first person and that broke some stuff. That might also be a little broken there. Has succeeded. Okay, so everything there is great. Now, the problem here is... Ah, I see what happens. Okay, so because it's a beta, there, there seems to be a little bit of a bug that after you leave, your demolition tool doesn't work. Which is not great. Okay, okay. This is fine. So... Let's just reload. Now that we know this information, we'll reload. Try again. Maybe it's the first person. We did some first person earlier. I think it's specifically because we did, like, we've ridden a lot of our theme parks. Uh, we, this is the first time that we've actually custom made a roller coaster up to this now, though. So I think we can narrow it down to that. But again, like, bugs in video games are wild. Yeah, this is also a demo. Yeah. This is not the full release. The full release of the game is on the 16th. <laughs> Gentle reminder, exclamation sponsored. Give you plenty of information if you're curious about all of this. Available now. Yes, yes, yes. Ossification. All right, so if I click here. Okay, so it does look like these are not properly attached. So, let's destroy this. Let's destroy this. Let's make the paths again. Okay, so that's attached. Uh, yeah. Now we click on this. And the hooks. Exclamation working hooks to hooks. There are no working hooks. That's wrong. So if we go back to this and we just hit test. On Steam, it looked like it was releasing tomorrow. That could also have to do with uh, which time zone you're in. Uh, 
According to the ad copy, I have the 16th. But, uh... Yeah. Train uses one cannon. Wow, that gets up to 150 kilometers an hour. That's so intense. Test failed. Friends, we've hit a bug. Oh man, right at the end too. Right at the end when we decided to start working on a, a custom website of our own. A, a custom thingy of our own. Oh, this is so sad because this was absolutely working. It just passed. And then it had the hooks working before. Well, I mean, again, it was working fine before Scuba, right? And if I go in and I edit it, then when I leave, this is all going to break again. So I don't want to edit it. I want to accept the version that worked previously because it, it did work, you know? We just test it until it works. <laughs> Hi, TQ. There. We managed to knock 40 kilometers an hour off the ride there at the end. You still come to the station at a very nice 100 kilometers an hour. All right, test succeeded and the hooks all work. So yes, make these modifications. Yes, it's all working. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and open this ride. And then we'll unpause. And then we need to make another little food cart for ourselves out here in this section. So who loves this ride? Teens and adults love this ride. So you know what teens also love? Kebabs. <laughs> Let's get a kebab place out here. Uh, not a medieval kebab. Also, hi, TQ. Let's get a... Pizza place out here. And then, as always, right by the entrance, we need to have our cafe... And uh, for the teens, no energy drinks. That ain't me. Uh, let's get some soft drinks going up in here too, you know? Now, that ain't all. People are going to get so tired when they walk all the way out here. Decor. Let's get another fountain. Which is the biggest fountain they have? Kind of big, I guess. Did we upgrade the size of our park? Oh, significantly come back. Alright, so we need some more Ozma trees. Actually, you know what I want to do? I want to make another one of the, um... I had the... What are they called? This style. They're called the Chinese Pines. 
Oh, can I scale the fountain up? That's a great idea. So hold on. Yeah, so if we go to scenery and we type fountain, you're right. I can click on a fountain and then make it like 200% larger, can't I? Yo, DD. Thank you. Can we get a brownie point for Dee Dee, please? By the way, if you want to just like visually break stuff up a little bit, if you put the same tree and then rotate it slightly or add just like a little bit of a detail beside it, it does a really good job of making it look organic, even if it isn't. Yeah, little, uh, little fun decorating tip there. A little bit of shade when they're in the line. Garbage right by the entrance. How are we doing in here? We need some benches and some garbages in here as well. Whatever, I'll place that down. Put some um, trees behind them. They're struggling with the off gate. Was it were they clipping slightly because of the height? I didn't get to watch the first group on it. Here we go. Let's see if they're having a good time. I hope nobody dies. <laughs> I'd feel I'd feel kind of bad about that, to be honest. Not only will they be tired from going to the coaster, they'll be tired after the ride. I don't know if you've had 120 to zero in under 10 seconds. Be aware of your ribs. It's okay. That's why we're impossifying stuff. Oh, speaking of which. So we can actually straight up impossify this park. I'm going to do it. Okay. So what has that done? I think that means I get to add another hook to it. What's this? Rottlebon. Have the train stay below 5 meters and the average speed above 25 kilometers an hour adds five stars and three extra profitability to it. Okay. It looks like it gave me a random hook, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's put another staff accommodation out here, I'm assuming.
Hey, what's up, Nalha? Thank you for 21 months, friend. All right, let's do a little dirt road. Comes off the path here. We need to make sure that nobody nobody sees it. It's very discreet. There we go. No one will know. And then we hide it in trees. Hire two more janitors. All right. So, what is the verdict? Are pe do people love it? Wait, all these people just got off. Oh, they're so hungry. Great. Well, well, well. You saw you saw one named Conifer. You mean a tree? Can you be more specific, Mr. Gibberish? Potential throughput, 20 per minute. Okay. What am I charging people? Four dollars. That's fine. Here's our theme park so far, by the way. I think it's very cute. If you ask me. Of this path. <laughs> when I clicked on trees, there's one called the P P conifer in here. Conifers appear to just be bushes. And I mean, that is cute. It's very cute, actually. Oh my god, the fountain shop? Look at how refreshing that looks. That's so extra. Also being right beside the water fountain. Can't get a good view of it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just got a new job on a large university IT department doing system integration stuff. Yo, congrats, Nell, huh? That's awesome, friend. All right, we have now integrated conifers. Into our build palette. I forgot about the giant beaver. <laughs> I legitimately forgot about our giant beaver. Does it make it better if we surround? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.
There. Put a tree stump next to it, too. Does that make it better? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, let's take a little look at our heat map here. How are we doing? Everybody happy? Everybody's pretty happy, except for these people. What's wrong with them? Oh, are they unhappy because they can't get off the ride? All right, well, there's this one family that's trapped here forever, but we don't, we don't talk about them. <laughs> All right, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong one. All right, so ignoring the family that is forever trapped on the ship. Uh, how else are people doing? Drinks. Man, that's a lot of thirsty people. Okay, let's get another pop stand in here. Soda. Oh, this is so funny. When you move it around, it has the bubble drip everywhere. Oh, it selected the wrong path. Uh, I mean, I guess that's fine. So it auto defaults to building whichever path you have selected at the time. And I don't know if I care enough to fix that. I wonder if I can edit it, actually. Nah, it's fine. All right, anyways, we've added one more pop because of all these thirsty people. That should be fine. How about food? Food is so bad. Oh my god, everyone is so hungry all of the time. I wonder if vending machines are our best friend for that, out of curiosity. I didn't I haven't actually tried these yet. Oh my god! Milestone accomplished. Let's go. Um, they want to be attached to the road. I wonder if I could... Please stop. Okay, so apparently they want to snap. Which is wild to me. So, hold on. If I'm next to, like, an empty road... I don't know if I love that, if I'm honest. I was kind of hoping I could just put them, like, you know, right here. But if you want it there, it it ah it snaps the whole path to it. Yeah, don't love that. You want the vending machine to work like a bench? Same, for sure, right? Don't think your guests can leave the path, but, like, benches snap right on the side. So I was kind of hoping the vending machine would snap like that, too. Also, yeah, the vending machine just doesn't look all that good. I mean, I guess in this particular case, because I have not a ton of space... Hold on, let's try, let's try like a little vending machine area here, right? I do this, and I do this, and then I do th that. 
Like, how does that look? A little bit of clipping. Oh my god, this lineup. Huh. Oh my god, the lineup! I mean, the demand was there, but wow, jeez. Wait, are they all lining up for the same one? I think the path being side by side by side here also kind of broke it. That's fine. Oh, wait. No. Uh huh. <laughs> wow, these cues. Okay. So the demand for food and drinks is unbelievable. I mean, like. Sorry. We're gonna have to get you to start working even harder here. So what do they all want? They're all hungry. Maybe I just put a restaurant here instead. You think one would fit? Let's let's try. Everybody loves pizza. Doesn't fit. Everybody loves patisseries. Okay, no, that's why we went for the vending machine. Interesting. Okay, I mean, I don't hate it, right? So let's try, let's try two separate ones this time. If we leave a gap between, maybe it'll... Be a little better? Not quite. Oh, it's still so clunky. So some other things about this game I'm kind of stoked about so far, and I don't know if you've picked up on this yet or not, is um, how many people are in the park? A thousand visitors, and you could see every one of them walking around. The scale of this, considering how like early in the game we are, is kind of absurd, you know? wild to me. I like my silly seagull noises too. Alright. How is this doing? Do we have some, uh, do we have some reports back yet? And no thoughts in the last 30 days. Well, heck. I also like that um, awesomeification can stack up. So, park management would have stayed longer. We couldn't find, we couldn't afford anything else. Wait, did that people parted with their wallets? I think that's good. Where's that screen? There was that one. Yeah, wallets emptied. Six. Hey, that's good. We gotta put the capitalist brain aside and celebrate that. <laughs> All right, uh, overview. We didn't have an opportunity to refill our funds. Oh, some people did want ATMs. We are super unhappy and therefore we're leaving. Couldn't find food. We went home early because there weren't enough interesting rides. Okay, more people wanted more rides. We didn't have the opportunity to indulge ourselves by buying impossified items. Okay. That means we could add ATMs for sure, yeah. Some items were priced so unreasonably high, we couldn't ever spend that much money. The entrance fee is too high. Interesting. Lots of benches. Awesome. Lots of food that we liked no matter where we went. Awesome. Lots of drinks. Good stuff. Toilets everywhere, amazing. It's nice that the game is actually like telling us that they reward us for how, like the density of toilets that we're making. 
No experience, no specific experiences to mention. Just want to say that we're very happy. Yes. <laughs> this is why people left. One person left satisfied. The last seven days. A bunch of people left because they were out of rides. That's interesting. Impossify the ATM. What a suggestion. Don't even hate that. Yeah, the ATM's not snapping makes me a little bit sad, but like, it's not that big of a deal, right? Let's see what the ATMs look like. Yeah. All right, I guess maybe this is the only large feedback I have so far. Let your vending machines snap like benches, but I imagine that's an easy fix. Part of me, I don't want to say easy fix like I'm a game dev. Like, I'm, I imagine that's the sort of thing that they could fix if they want to. I'm not going to suddenly be like, change your game. Best feedback you can ever give, be it in video games or anything, is focus on the problem, not the solution. Oh, look, people are using it already. Huh. Wild. Can we set the service fee for it? Oh my god, we could. We could charge them. Ugh, that feels bad. Easy fix. Perfect. Alright, I think we're going to call it there. This has been a super fun day. Easy six hours of Park Beyond. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Did you have fun today? I had a really good time. Thank you for joining me for some hashtag sponsored content. Again, I want to say thank you very much for being here for all of this. Uh, sponsored content is a very big deal and goes a long way to helping support the channel and all that stuff. I do have some ad read that I want to talk about on the way out as well. But I mean, first of all, just thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel and giving me the opportunity to be approached by let's say Bandai Namco to be able to give you this. So a reminder that today we played the beta version of Park Beyond. I was paid to showcase this game to you. So for full disclosure, uh, we talked about that at the top of the show as well. Um, here's some ad read if you're at all curious. So this was the open beta. The game actually goes on sale on the 16th. Exclamation sponsored in the chat will bring you to a, play, uh, a website if you want to pre-purchase it. The hooks of this game, there's a campaign mode with 30 plus hours. So we played through the first two missions at the top of the stream. And there's also a sandbox mode, which is what we're doing at the end. How do we sponsorship viewers? Wait, how do we do sponsorship viewer wise? So an amazing thing, full disclosure for this sponsor is this was a flat payout. This was not a, what's the word I'm looking for? A performance based sponsorship, which is, this is the best kind that you can get. And it's awesome that Basically that um, a sponsor saw value in us as a community that this was the sort of deal that they wanted to offer. So I'm very excited about that um, as opposed to viewership based, uh, viewership based performance things or like sales or like Raid Shadow Legend. They make you sign up and play and stuff like that. So this is just a flat up. They just paid us so we could show off the game, which is cool. Uh, key features of the game. Endless customization, build unique coasters, rides, and shops. Yeah, you can do like the spore thing and customize the shops too. Uh, and of course, the management side. And a neat sort of mechanic that sets this game apart from its peers is the impossification of the ideas of making like the teddy bear shop, for example, with the weird back flipping automatons and stuff that goes through it. So yeah, you can pre-order Park Beyond now and get an exclusive Pac-Man impossification set. Get access to exclusive Pac-Man themed content, including two rides, five entertainers, one hat shop, one shop impossification, and bonus decorative items. So thank you so much for being here, everybody. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for the subs and the bits. I also want to give shout outs to some friends that rated us as well. Thank you to Uno and uh, thank you to Dead Pine as well. You're all the best. Yeah. Oh, I guess I should also say thank you to um, Bandai Namco for sponsor for sponsoring the stream. All right, let's go raid my buddy Cam. The Cam fam is playing some Civ. 
I tend to be very family friendly. Cameron is an absolute delight, but we'll say bad words like butts. So uh, be aware that you might be encountering that. Thank you so much again for everything. And I will see you tomorrow at 9 a.m., which will be my last stream before Joe and I go on vacation for a week. So come say hi. All right. You're the best. Bye-bye.